All right, live. I feel like I forgot to do something before starting, so, um, you know. Oh, well, we'll find out what happens. Northern Lion is streaming 20 minutes till then. I want to try that game. I tried the demo, and it was decent. I'd like to try the full thing. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I think I forgot fan art. What do you mean? It's your fan art's still on the screen right now. Okay, it's it's a non-stop montage of your stuff today. Not only that, I'm talking while it's up there too. This is pretty good. Yeah, I really like this one. Um, hold on, let's wait for it to change. Yeah, this one's pretty good too. This one's pretty good too. Yep, yeah, pretty good. Mhm. Mm Do, 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 do. Joe's going to feel so conflicted once he sees Fi in the secret bunny girl suit. And I won't feel conflicted at all. I know exactly how I'm going to feel. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. We all agree that, that bunny girls are the best girls, right? Like, I'm going to guess that it's... Like, okay, sorry, hold on, because there's no way we're going to agree on that. We all agree that it's between bunny girls and cat girls, right? It has to... Like, there has to be some unification that those... No matter where you fall down on it, those are number one and number two, right? Like... You, you can enjoy a different kind of, you know, girl kind of, but like those are clearly number one and number two and you can decide. I prefer amphibian girls. What What's, I, I haven't been a amphibian pilled. Um, I'm willing to try this, this, this pill. What about your wife? What the fuck? Well, she's included in, in the list. I like lammies. I don't know what a lammies is. Lammies? What's a lammy? Like a llama girl? Not a weeb, by the way. Excuse me, the typical stereotypical Playboy bunny is the furthest thing you can get away from a weeb's ideal, you know, animal girl. Like, come on. And that's what I'm talking about. Spits in your face, yes, harder. That's a llama girl? No devil. Devils aren't animals. Angel, also not an animal. It's specifically animal girls. I, I guess no. And the monster girl opens it up too, too, too far. Specifically animal girls. And I also want to limit it to things like you would dress up as, and it wouldn't be too weird to go out on Halloween. Okay. Goat girl, kind of like a demon girl. Yeah, it's true. It's pretty true. It's pretty true. I can't. I can't deny that. Vampire Survivors update too. God damn. What is going on? Why are we streaming today? Oh man, I don't know what it is, but but the past like week, week or two, maybe even the like the last month, I just feel like it's been non-stop stuff going on. So busy. Arachni girls. Okay, I I respect it, but not for me, sorry. Can you slip into Fluent Weave? Weeb? Hold on, I, I'm taking a chat. Allow me to flip into Fluent Weeb. Ooh, ooh. Moth Mommy. Okay, I don't... I don't like what I've opened. I don't like where this went. Oh, yeah, yep, yeah, sorry. Isn't that... Isn't that... Isn't that... Isn't that obvious? Hey, Fi, what's the best kind of... Um, Sexy girl animal costume. Isn't that obvious? A bunny for sure, yeah. Isn't that obvious? Isn't that obvious? Isn't that obvious? Okay, what are the what are the contenders in I'll straw straw pull it? Also, is there like 
Are there? What, I don't want to be the, completely on the girls. What about the? What? What are the boys? Are there bunny boys? There are cat boys for sure, because there's even one in Genshin, and that's about as normy as anime mainstream will go. Are there bunny boys? Boys. Boys are just the same. Okay, I like. I like that boys are just the same. Then. Okay, that's good. I like. I guess we could just like instead of it being like what girls are the best girls, it could just be like like bunny bunny cat, whatever. Like it's it's you know I like this. Why is Dragon Den just full of veils? I don't understand. It's the Dragon Veil over here. Fucking the Deep Veil. What the hell? Tower of Veils. I didn't... Sorry. How's it going, Dragon's Den? Valet's joke? He's a valet? What do you mean? So whenever someone says something funny, it's it's time to want to go park your car? Like, what? Valet? It's not valet. It's Vale or it's Val. It's not valet. What the, what the hell is this shit? Who pronounces it Val? Okay, hold on. Buenos dias. We are looking at how to pronounce Okay, that's... I thought you were just going to say the word. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Google is not giving me a proper pronunciation. There's no way it's valet. Come on. <laughs> Who is this maid girl that you just posted, Iron Wrath? I'd like to know more. Oh, I wouldn't because there's I see eggs and ketchup in the frame. What the hell? Why? Ruined. Ruined. There's no way it's valet. What was I gonna do? A poll. All right, hold on, hold on. Okay, what are the contenders? I need I need an elected representative in Dragon's Den right now to give me the top six. It's Vaye. His name is Alex Vaye. Vaye. Vai A Wolf Dog Cat Fox Snake Bat Sheep ho this is not even a bunny on 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 the list. What are you talking about? Completely disregard I okay, I'm just doing it myself. I'm picking six myself. Didn't do fan art by the way, but we're doing this. Alright, hold on. How do I get to Twitch? Mo Moth is not an animal. Which is best, okay? Now, I want to I want to stress, all right, that, that moth is an insect. That's obviously a, a different... Are, are moths... What is a moth? I, insects. It's, I'm not including... I'm having a distinction between insects and animals. I don't want to have the insects or animals debate. I'm sorry. Like, it, right now, the way we're speaking, I'm drawing a line between insects and animals. If you want to talk scientifically or whatever the fuck you want, that you want to lump them together, that's fine. I don't necessarily disagree. I'm just saying, for the distinction right now, like... It's just like just just animals, okay? Not not like not in I'm drawing a line between stereotypical traditional animal and insect, okay? If you don't understand the difference, right? Then come on. Are birds a birds are animals, yeah. Yeah. There's a clear distinction. What do you mean that makes it makes perfect sense? It's scientifically. This is a, when you speak normally in casual setting, you can say things that everyone just goes along with and can understand, like calling a tomato a vegetable. Like, it, oh, it's a fruit. Like, oh, come on. You know, it's in terms of cooking, it's a vegetable. It's used as a vegetable. You don't want to do this f tomato fruit bullshit, okay? Like, everyone knows that you have to take the context of the conversation that's going on. 
That's different. No, it isn't. It's the same thing. This is what do you mean. It's, what do you mean? What do you do? What do you mean? A fucking prediction? How long the escape room takes to complete? We, we're not even playing the game today. This is it. This is the stream. This is the stream. I'm once again reminded of how contact Mike rose from the slums of St. Baptiste so in the top of the boxing world. <laughs> Overcoming adversity and serious brain trauma. <laughs> nice shade on me there. Nice shade. Oh, man. You not knowing this isn't an excuse for being wrong. What are you fucking talking about? Like, there's clearly a clear distinction here for what we're talking about. What, what, what do you mean? This isn't a scientific debate, my dude. Yes, clearly. If you said, if you were in a casual setting and you said. To, to someone you live with, like, f let, let's be real, your mom, if you, <laughs> he's getting angry, he's lashing out. If you went out and you, you said to someone in your house and you said, there's a weird animal outside, you wouldn't think, oh my God, it's a moth or, oh my God, it's a spider or anything like that. Your mind would go to something like dog, wolf, bear, some, some weird kind of lizard or something like you would, you wouldn't, the first couple things that would go through your head wouldn't be. Oh, there's a weird fucking bug outside. Like, come on. That's that's what I'm talking about. Like, there's a weird animal outside. I don't know what it is. Because you would say there's a weird bug outside. Or there's an, a weird insect outside. You would just say animal. And that would immediately go into that area. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not expecting a zebra, but zebras. I I bet that if you cycle through the rotary in your head of all the weird animals that could be outside, you would think of zebra before you think of some weird ass fucking moth that you've never seen before. Your mind would go to zebra, you know. But oh, maybe a zebra escaped from the zoo or something. I don't know. Like, okay, what 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 am I putting? <laughs> Um, cat. No, now some people aren't here. What, what, which type of? Okay, we want to be boy and girl. All right, what type? What type of boy slash girl is best? All right. Um, cat, bunny, wolf. Okay, I only have five options. Okay, what, what are the other two? De Demon is not an animal. I'm not putting moth. Fox, fox is pretty, pretty fox and wolf are kind of in the same kind of area though. What does Dragon's Den think? Cat, dog, snake, bunny, fox. One of these is not like the others. Dog? Dog, fox, and wolf are so similar. I feel like gonna, that's going to split the vote. Like, it would be better if it was just, like, canine, and that can just cover all three of those. Different, I agree different vibes, but they're in the same area. I only have... Guys, I feel like you're being so pedantic today. All right, this is this doesn't bode well for a v VLR stream. I only have five slots, so I'm trying to make this the most efficient as possible. What the fuck did you just post, Hypothetical Walrus? What the hell is that? All right, I'm not putting Snake on there. I'm not putting Snake on there. That's that done. That's that done. We, yeah, you guys, yeah. Technically, insects should count for this because they're right out. Like, come on. Chicken. All right, I'm putting... Okay, should I just put other on there? Other. All right. So, we have cat, bunny, wolf, fox, other. Okay? See, the, th the thing is, though, like, there's a lot of different tastes going on in the chat right now that other might take it. So, other, other could be anything. All right?
other, hmm. I wish I could have more votes. Should we do a straw poll? If we do a straw poll, we can have more than five. But then it's not on the website known as Twitch. All right, we got two minutes to vote, so you better make a decision quickly, okay? All right. Cat, bunny, wolf, fox, other. All right, here we go. Here we go. A poll is already active. All right, someone's getting demodded. Someone's getting demodded. Report poll. What what is this shit? Dog and cow? Alright. If you think that we're getting to the game faster because you did a poll, like I'm doing mine as well. If this was some ploy to be like, oh no, now we can get to the game faster. Let's get Joe off his bullshit. You like no, you you are completely off. View all. There's a prediction as well. How long next escape room takes to complete? Number eight, no escape room this stream. Oh man, someone's gonna make up like a bandit. How do I, I can't see the poll now. Dude, oh, I wasn't telling you to report the poll. I was just reading out the option on the screen. Sorry. Cowgirls kind of go. Not going to lie, says Kusara. Wow, okay. Just so many strikes lately, man. Just so many strikes. Dear God. Is a dear God something you would be interested in too? do 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 Play Corruption of Champions. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Can we have two polls? One for, for best girl, one for best girl. We can't even have one poll right now because because mod um, uh, insurrection. It's Bikoi of Austin. How could it not be? When are you going to play the horse boy dating sim? I didn't even know there was a horse boy dating sim. What's it called? Twenty thousand to start. Oh yeah, is there a marble? Hold on, while we're while we're waiting for the real poll to start. Is there a marble? Review requests queue. All right, here we go. Um, no, there's not. No one has bought a marble. Does anyone want to buy a marble right now? I'm looking at it and we can confirm. Does anyone have a million channel points to buy a marble for the weed braces? Uh, I can remind you of all of the ones that are currently there is... Um, hold on, where is it? It's, it's pinned somewhere, right? Uh, anime marbles that are already in is Batman Ninja, Neon Genesis Evangelion, Mob Psycho 100, Yiru Camp, and Hayao Miyazaki's 11 movies. So if you want to uh, buy a marble for, it's a million channel points, um, yeah, you can you can do that. Do, 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 do. I hope Mob Psycho wins. Of these two choices right now, I would like none of them to... No, I, of, of these five choices, the two I would go with the most that I would root for... Mob Psycho looks a little interesting, actually. But Miyazaki's movies, I've heard enough that they're probably pretty classy. And there's got to be something in there that I would enjoy. So, um, it's one of those two that I think I would, I would want to win. If it was just these five. What the hell is this that you just posted, Amy? It's a it's a horse man and he's smoking a cigarette and he's drinking coffee horse. Do, 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 do. 
Bojack Horse. No, it's not. It's not. It's not like that. No. Pull is over by. Okay, here we go. Here's the real pull. There you are. The real pull has started. You still watch if the, if the start of the race goal isn't met. No, we'll just keep going until it is met. Uh, I might bring the, the cost down, though, because uh, 500 million might have been too much. But we'll see. Who is winning? Cat is winning. Interesting. So it's going cat, then bunny, then fox, then wolf. Yeah, wolf was a bad pick to put on there. Not surprised that Cat is winning. Cat is the weeby choice, I think. How dare you? Well, like other is winning the poll, but Cat is like it's all it's Cat versus every other animal that's not on the list. So clearly, Cat is more popular than each individual part of other, even though it seems that most people prefer a different one in here right now. But there's no way that all most of those would, would enjoy the same one. So yeah, like I'm not disputing the poll. Other is getting the most votes. So most people don't like um, these ones the most, but like there's no way that Cat isn't the most popular of them all. Do 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 it's all now I wouldn't trust you it would be moth is the meme pick and we all like we know like it's not true like moth girls are not more popular than cat girls there's way more cat girl media than than moth girl we just know it's true so it wouldn't be it wouldn't be fair to people who really do like moth girls they'd be like this is bullshit although they may think and I know they would appreciate it that it's their time in the sun you know, like, yeah, all right, finally, Moth Girl's in the limelight, so, I, I know, I, I would, you know, I'm tempted to give that to them, but, you know, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be true. You want to see? Let's do it, it's fun. All right, here we go, so it's going to be Moth versus Cat. All right, so, of this, Cat won, Cat, Bunny, Fox, and Wolf was, like, easily the lowest, 6%, I'm not surprised, Wolf shouldn't have gone on there, oh well. Cat, bunny, then fox, then wolf. Other, it could be a lot of other things. Um, all right, so let's do it. But I want to be clear that this isn't, we're not voting on animals anymore because there's a moth on here. Moth, boy, girl versus cat, boy, girl. All right. Will chat actually take this seriously or will they just go for the, uh, go for the, the meme? Okay, cat versus moth. Moth boy versus girl. Girl versus cat boy versus girl. Okay, all right, here we go. Do 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 do. Who's winning? Do 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 do. Okay, it seems like a lot of you actually taking it seriously. Okay, cat is winning, narrowly. Can't vote. Why can't you vote? Huh. It's weird. A hundred percent of you think that Hatsune Miku sucks. That's, that's, huh. It's really gone down in popularity since last time. I'm surprised. A hundred percent of the people voting think that she sucks. How many people are voting? Uh, almost all of you. Interesting. Wow. You could just abstain. And you wouldn't have to say the Hatsune Miku sucks, but you you were like, no, I'm voting. Do 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 do. Yeah, this this is this is gonna be a bad stream. This is gonna be a bad stream. It's already a bad stream. All right, so cat uh, one looks like it. We're almost done. 
uh, 53% to 47%. So there were a fair amount of memers in the chat, but um, cat pulled through. All right, so that's about right. All right, let's go play Hatsune, Hatsune Miku Pancake Mix now. All right, so Hatsune Sucks won the poll. That's nice. That's good to see. Okay, do we have sound? Fine, does Hatsune Miku suck? Isn't that obvious? Isn't that obvious? All right, let's continue. It was this one, right? Right. Okay. So when we last left off, we had just done the um, A B game, and Alice betrayed us, which I'm very surprised about. Um, I would like to see the compartments again, the voting rooms, to see were they not moved this time? Because if they weren't moved this time, that means there's a, a, a body in the rightmost one. Who knows who went in there? Um, but if not, maybe maybe the old lady wasn't murdered on this one? This is shit. Here are the results from your game. Uh -huh. So last, oh, we went this way. Interesting. I thought we would have went down here. So if we voted betray, we go down here. Wow, that changes a lot. I'm going to guess there's a lot of overlap with these ones. And these ones here. That's different. I'm going to guess there's some, some overlap, yeah. Hmm. I'm kind of tempted to reload and go betray. Just for the symmetry of going. Like, we went down here the first time. And now I want to go down here. I'm kind of tempted to reload. But I want to see Alice's reaction. I wonder if we voted Betray, if she would have voted Ally. Is it always different? Anyway, let's continue. We made our bed. Let's um, let's uh, lay in it. Here are the results in your game. Now, let us check the numbers on our bracelets. Do, 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 do. Hey, Alice, what the fuck? <laughs> Hey Alice, what the hell is this? Excuse me, I just made the most rational choice. Ooh, oh wow, okay. More and more you're becoming my mother, the all right. The best way to minimize risk and maximize reward in this situation is to choose betray. Anyone who thinks otherwise is, well, an idiot. Wow, why, why did you do it? I could ask you the same question. Why did you do something as stupid as choose ally? Why, haven't you heard of the prisoner's dilemma? Of course, I wrote it. The best solution is for all of us to choose ally. Oh, really? All of us, huh? Kay and Clover chose Betray too, you know. Yeah. Yes. I know about the prisoner's dilemma. But everyone picking ally isn't a reasonable outcome. Just look at the results for this round. Well, most people still picked ally, Alice. So, actually... It is more reasonable to expect everyone to go ally than everyone to go betray. Like, you're objectively wrong here. What do they tell you? You're a pretty tender-hearted guy to trust somebody you've just met. Uh-huh. Well, maybe tender-headed would be a little more appropriate in this Oh, okay. I, I'm, I'm not a bitch or an awful person or everything. I'm just smarter than you. Wow. Wow. Okay, I hate her. I actually hate her. I actually hate her. Holy shit. Like, I hate her right now more than Ace from the first game. I actually hate her. Like, Fi has just moved up the rankings, like, big time. I actually hate her. What? Oh, was that upsetting? My apologies. All right. Where's the where's the route where, at the end of the game, everyone is alive but her? I'm only trying to warn you. Alice is right. No, Fi. Okay, all right. You, you know, you're still pretty low on the list. You made a stupid choice. And thanks to you, our BP is down to one now. God damn it. I set my jaw and stomped away from Alice and 
<laughs> my hands had balled themselves into fists, but my throat was tight and my eyes stung. Why? Why had she done it? Quark, Dio, and Luna's group, on the other hand, seemed calm, almost happy. Thank you. I'm so happy you chose Ally. No problem. Ooh. Well, to tell you the truth, Mr. Dio wanted to pick Betray. What? Uh, hey! Mr. Dio told me to pick Betray so that we could get three points. He said we could escape together. If we betrayed you, then we'd have six BP. And okay. then, if we betrayed someone in the next round, we'd have nine. Okay, not believing you? No. Oh, Theo, is this true? Say no. No, th that's not what happened at all. Oh, it is. Kidding! Wait, what? I lied. That was a joke. Mr. Dio would never do something like that. It's a lie! Me <laughs> It was a joke? Uh, yeah. Man, you, you really had me going there. Why are you hesitating then? <laughs> I really surprised you, huh? <laughs> so you really were planning to choose Ally all along? Thank you. Thank you very much. Don't worry about it. We only did what anybody else would do. Right, Mr. Dio? Uh, yeah. Exactly. Except for Alice. I understand. I guess I just haven't had enough time to earn your trust, huh? Um, I suppose you could say that. I just didn't really expect you to be so nice about it. It looked like there had been some sort of argument between Kay, Clover, and Temioji, although whatever it was seemed to have resolved itself amicably. Zero, when does the next round start? What makes you think we'll be having another round? Well, you said round one. If there's a round one, then there's likely a round two. Besides, didn't you say the goal of the AB game was to get 9 BP? That's impossible without a second round. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh no, I want to see the... God damn it. Well, they do indeed. Okay, that looks like it is further to the right than last time, right? I, I think that it wasn't moved. I'd say it's going to be Tenbiopi. Or Siggy. Fido. Or maybe everyone? So that was about who's gonna be dead next to the hit zero. Okay. <laughs> but it won't hit zero, it'll, it'll go negative. What? Hmm. I guess I can tell you why. I see. Phi Sigma and I only have one BP. That means we'd have less than zero if we lost two points. Less than zero? It means it's not zero. I took a moment to go over everything in my head. The AB game would continue until someone opened the number nine door. There were no rules about how many people could, could or couldn't pass through the number nine door. That meant it was possible for everyone to escape. The secondary chromatic doors could be opened by... Okay, can I skip this? Okay, I can. It did change. I'm yellow now. So am I. Oh, are negative numbers on there? Yeah, n the negative numbers aren't numbers. Moths are animals. Uh, ev everything is is everything. Yeah. Negative negative one is the same as zero. Me too. Hmm. It looks like the color wasn't the only thing that changed. What do you mean? Well, it looks like our groups have changed too. But are plant girls monster girls? Yes, they are. Yeah. I was a solo last round, but now it says pair. Moths aren't animals is such a Moncton thing to say. There was a, a news article I, I read today um, that said that uh, a plane carrying um, 100, 160 or 170 uh, people from, from Ukraine um, landed in Moncton. And the top comment re responding to it was, haven't they suffered enough? <laughs> It's like, yeah, take, take the poor people somewhere else. Like, not here. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Wait. Really? Mine still says solo. It looks like Luna and I both changed. 
Oh, what did ours change to? Although I've gone from solo to pair. I'm the opposite. Mine went from pair to solo. No change here. Still a pair. I'm... I guess this must be... Magenta. Colorblind? Are you two magenta too? Uh-huh. Yeah. Quark, Clover, and I are cyan. I think Mr. K and I are paired. And Miss Clover is a solo? Looks like it. When did they change? Back when the AV gates closed. As soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up. Oh yeah. For sure. Okay, so there's a dead body in there. Presumably. Okay, let's let's go through it. There could be a dead body in there, and whoever went in there is the person who killed them, so they're not saying anything. And we don't know who went into each room, so we have no idea, okay? That's possibility number one. Possibility number two is that there was a dead body in there, but someone moved it when they first came in here instead of moving the the um the the rooms. That's possibly number two. Possibly number three she was killed but she was placed somewhere else this time instead of in the room which i can't see how it could possibly happen but i'm still not able to rule it out it is very slim possibility and number four this time there is no dead old lady so those are the four possibilities okay those those are the four so um am i saying there's a dead body in there i'm not saying that i'm not saying that but there could be i'm gonna guess there is that would be most likely right now that there is a dead old lady in that room and um whoever went in there is also the killer which means that kind of confirms that one of us is the killer then i thought maybe it might have been some other shenanigans there was always a dead body in there instead of that so huh okay a parent solo assignments hop around a bit too and of course it's <laughs> totally random oh yeah totally random no rules or now, with all of that explained, so Okay, so we're a yellow pair. Oh, we didn't do it. It's Bikoi. Bikoi, my beloved. Why is this happening to me? Spent a few minutes wallowing in misery. I figured I deserved at least a little self-pity. Can we skip this too? No. But even I knew that brooding and whining wasn't going to get me anywhere. Like Kay had said, we needed to at least try and find another way out. So I shook my head to clear it, stood up straight, and headed off. Uh, all right. Last time we went to the lounge first, and so we went down the list. Um, let's go to the infirmary first this time to see if Kay's there. The casino. The cas AED. So this is the infirmary. I'm not talking to you. Oh, Sigma. Alice. What's up with your face? You look like you just saw a roach. Are you still angry? Of course. I'm teetering on the brink of the abyss thanks to you. I didn't have a choice. You did though. It was between A and B. You literally did. I'm just trying to get out of here like we all are. Okay. That's enough to justify screwing someone else over. It's not what I meant and you know it. If I'd known for sure that you were going to choose Ally, then I would have chosen Ally too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Easy for you to say that now. Yeah, me and Dio, man. I agree. Look Wait, it was it was Alice and Dio last time too. Do we just luck into that or What? Am I such a horrible person for wanting to get out of here? Yes. Also, long neck. I have to get out of here. Why? There's so many things I still want to do. Like get dressed? Like what? Well, let's see. 
I want to wear lots of gorgeous clothes. Yeah, I wish you would start right now. I want to eat tons of delicious food and fall in love. What an idiot. Oh, you're here too. Excuse me? Wait, is everyone here? And I was going to take your side, but after that load of horse shit, you're on your own. Yep. Ugh. Look. Let me try this again. I'm frustrated. But there really is something important I have to do. Finish getting. Which is? Ugh. Avenge my father's murder. <laughs> and start working on my website. What happened to him? Catchmyfatherskiller.com Could you elaborate on no, that? No, I couldn't. This isn't the kind of thing no. I should be telling people I don't even know. Shows up, says she wants to avenge her father's murderer, refuses to elaborate. Fine. Just tell me one thing. Does your father's murder have anything to do with us being trapped in here? Let me, let me ask... I know, Alice. Let me ask you one thing. What would your murdered father think about you voting Betray in the AB game? That's what I want to know, Alice. You tell me, and you think of his memory, and you look at me right in the eye, and you tell me what you think about that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Jumpy out. I have no idea. As to why you're here, your guess is as good as mine. But it's possible that his death is connected to my abduction. Meaning? I was on their trail. I was tracking down the people who killed him. How close were you? <laughs> I can't say. Well, you, like, because you, you're not allowed or you had no idea? But it's possible that I was getting close enough. Oh, okay. They decided something had to be done with me. You had no idea. All right. Are you a detective? Oh, please say yes. Well. I'm not not a detective. I wouldn't really say I'm a detective. <laughs> not a bad guess, though. Why are you guys looking at me like Cause that? Because you're fucking insane and ridiculous. <laughs> well, I mean, you don't really have the detective look. I didn't say I was a detective. You didn't say you weren't one either, though. Then what are you? CIA? No. For you. No. All right, so we have, like, an almost detective that won't say exactly what she is. We have an almost doctor that won't say exactly what she is. What about all the other ones? That's fine. In my line of work, the less I look like what I am, the better. Okay, and what is that line of work? <laughs> what is that line of work? Tell, tell us. <laughs> La my own no, and then she laughs. Better I keep him guessing. What? Guessing what? <laughs> hey, what's the deal with you and Clover? <laughs> what's she got to do with anything? Well, you know each other, right? I was thinking maybe you were related or worked together or something. Oh, we did. In an organization. I can't tell you. Oh, and Clover did it too. I can't tell you what I work for, but it's important. All right, did any other ones do? Fi hasn't told a shit about herself. You have a, a, a kid, but also not really. It's a lie. But that even maybe the lie was a lie. Maybe it loops around. Kay hasn't, uh, can't, can't remember anything, has amnesia. Temioji, what did Temioji say? Temioji, like, really likes to watch porn. Uh, Quark is his grandson. We didn't find anything about Quark. Who am I? Luna. Lu we already did Luna. I think that's it. We did them all now, right? We're in university. No. But we didn't say what we're studying. Oh! She has nothing to do with my work. She's just a friend that I met somewhere. Okay, that's not true. That's not true. She lie? Lie? Uh, insight check? No. She said different. <laughs> Where is somewhere? In the middle of a desert. There's no fucking way. A desert? Yes. But that's an awfully long story. Wait, hold on. Why am I the only person getting the third degree? Because you voted betray? That doesn't seem fair to me. How about you guys give up a little personal information too? 
You didn't give up anything. We'll start with you, Tenmyoji. In my line of work, it, it makes sense for me to, to not look like what I am, which is a thawed out old mummy, which is why I wear this Egyptian getup and don't cover myself up and look ridiculous. We'll start with you, Tenmyoji. Just a garbage collector. Really? Any ties to Zero? None. What's your relationship with Quark? We don't know Zero. How do you know you don't have any ties? You two know each other, right? Well, we don't not know each other. Do I have to answer that? Well, if you really don't want to, it's not like I can force you. Oh, then I apologize, but I don't have anything to say about that subject. Ooh. I mean, it's not like you told us everything either. It's, this is true. I see. Very well, then. Very well. Dio, it's your turn. What's your profession? I'm a magician. Well, you're probably going to think I'm full of shit, but... I'm a magician. Oh, please, be like an accountant or something. I, I work the stock market. Okay, what else could he be? Instagram model. I'm a circus ringleader. Oh, okay. That that makes sense actually. A ringleader? You're kidding. Are we your circus? Nope. I'm the real deal. I lead a company of about 50 people. We travel all over the world. It was my grandfather's grandfather who founded it, but somehow the least ri ridiculous character right now. My father died at a young age. I'm a fifth generation ringleader. My old man was a trapeze artist. He tried to do this quadruple flip and missed. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess he wasn't really young. He was about 40. Still, he was pretty reckless for a guy that age. Always talking about how he couldn't let the kids show him up. Guess he just took it too far. I see. You lost your father, too, then. Yeah. Two? Oh, yeah, she said that. Okay. Guess I got a little sappy there. Anyway, point is, I don't have any damn idea how I'm connected to Zero. I got grabbed on the last night of one of our tour stops. I'd gone out to a couple bars and gotten shit-faced. On my way back to the caravan, this black van pulls up. Somebody grabs me and throws me inside. So they had candy. Before I can even get a look at them, they hit me with that gas and I'm out like a light. Next thing I know, I'm waking up in the AB room. Anyway, enough about me. You still haven't heard your story, Sigma. Who are you? I told you guys the first time we met. Don't you remember? I was on my way home from school and when I got into my car, this white gas started pouring out of everywhere. Are you some kind of doctor? Yes. Huh? No, I'm still working on my degree. I'm shooting for a PhD, but I'm not quite sh quite there yet. PhD in what? I guess you've been working on that for quite a while, huh? Ooh. Yeah, I guess I have. Again, with the you don't look like a young guy. Uh, what? Can you think of anything that might connect you to any of this? Believe me, I've thought about it, but I keep drawing a blank. Okay, chat, chat. If there's a part in this game where where we look in a mirror and we're a super, super, like, older man now and, like, we, it was just that we never saw a reflection in any of the reflected surfaces anywhere in the game until now and there's not a good reason for that, we might have Great Vegetables 2.0 on our hands because, like, are you fucking serious? What about Zero? No idea. Do any of the people here look familiar to you? Nope, you're all strangers. Well, I guess I can't really say for sure about K since I haven't seen his face. I suppose it's possible that he's someone I know. All right, time to go dragons then and see the Zero Escape spoiler chat shaking gif. Here I go. Oh my god, I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five. There it is. All right. How's it going, Dragon's Den? Well, I guess I can't say, really say for sure about K since I haven't seen his face. I suppose it's possible he's someone I know. Just who is he, anyway? 
Until that amnesia clears up, I don't think we've got any way of knowing. Could be some kind of swap. Like... Is that... No, because he said he's used to wearing the suit, so why would they do that? Not okay. Oh, come on. You know he's full of shit. You still don't believe him? Of course not. Okay, well, K is a bit of a mystery, but what about some of the others? Clover, for instance. What does she do? I think she's a student. At night, she's a waitress or a bartender or something. Insight check? You, you, you know her, you're friends. Hmm. What about Quark? What is Great Vegetables? Oh, gather around, chat, and let me tell you a tale of a shitty weeb VN by the name of Steen's Gate. Alright, so this is spoilers for, for, for Steen's Gate, but I'm guessing if you give a shit about spoilers for Steen's Gate that um, you would have already played or slash watched it by now. Um, and it is spoilers for the first, I don't know, maybe one-tenth into the game, because that's how long it takes. So it's not a major spoiler, but it is something big that happens somewhat early on into the story, okay? Um, I won't explain the whole thing, but basically there is a point in the story, they have, a, they have a time machine, and they can send information back in time, and they decide that they want to change what sex someone was born as. There is there is a, a, a man in the plot, and they want her to be reborn as a woman. And so they send, um, and as far as I know, they would have wanted it too. So they send back a message back in time to... Um, uh, his mother when she was pregnant with him to eat more vegetables because if you eat more vegetables you have a girl instead of a boy and then instead of a he it was a she um, and that was that was the uh, the the plan and I said to chat that if that actually happens then I am turning the game off and I'm not continuing and it did and it changed the sex of the baby in the womb and I turned it off. It wasn't before. It wasn't before. No, it was when. She was already pregnant with the baby. If it was before, then I would have been able to accept it. Because if it was before, then it, that could have made some sort of weird change. But it wasn't before. It was during the pregnancy. And now, apparently, all, all the weebs in chat think, you know, the scientific d definition of a moth being an animal is something they all know. But what they didn't know was that sex is decided upon conception the 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 male sperm cell decides the sex of the baby when when the egg is fertilized so there's no changing that really outside of some like very rare events you know what i mean um it's that that is when that happens so yeah thank you lily So I said I'm I'm um, turning it off. That happened, and it did. So that is the uh, the great vegetables um, uh, dilemma that happened during Steins Gate. What about Quark? Well, I guess he probably doesn't really have a job, huh? Well, that's not true. He might. He's still in elementary school. He's still in elementary school, right? Um, maybe. <laughs> Why is that funny? It's nothing. Oh, is he like a kid genius? Just forget about it. Yeah, getting some big, um, smart guy vibes. Yeah, you're right. Boy, his age would be in elementary school. Didn't even mention the question for Son of Four Joes. Okay, all right. Well, let's continue then. All right, then through the Weeba genetic field, the revelation of great vegetables from Steins Gate, which we were doing on, we were doing Steins Gate Sunday on a Saturday during the Persona 4 run. These these two were going together, right? And through the Weebogenic field, the the idea of great vegetables tr jumped over from Steins Gate to Persona 4, or maybe it jumped from Persona 4 over to Steins Gate. Who knows where it originated? It was it was a it was a field field back loop, okay? To um. Um, God, I can't remember the, the character's name now. Uh, I really can't remember. What's his name? 
Dojima? It is Dojima. Sorry, I thought of Dojima and then my mind went, no, Dojima is Coffee Dad from Persona 5. But no, that's Sojiro, isn't it? Sorry, they're kind of similar. Um, to Dojima um, saying, great vegetables whenever you go outside and plant some vegetables with him and Nanako. Great vegetables. Great vegetables. Haven't done this in a while. Great vegetables. Thought by now you would have trusted me as much as your old man. Great vegetables. What was that? You're right. Our bond. <laughs> anyway, possibly the uh, the absolute funniest thing that's ever happened on stream is those two events um, uh, colliding together. Uh, like just. This is this is why streaming is such a uh, such a, a nervous act for me because usually the best moments are completely out of my control and just unpredictable accidental bullshit. Um, so so yeah. But that's it. Never going back. All right, let's continue. Boys' age would be in elementary school. You really don't know much, do you? About Quark, I mean. Well, if it makes you feel better, I'm sure. Hmm. Well, I know a little about Luna. I got her talking when we were in the infirmary. She says she's got some sort of medical license or something. She's a nurse? It could mean she's a doctor. I don't know. She didn't say. Just going by how she looks, though, I'd guess nurse. Whoa. Whoa. What do you mean? I mean, I hope so, but what? no. Whoa. That leaves us with five. She's the most mysterious to me. What does a girl like that do? That, like that, what do you mean? You've been around her the most, Sigma. She told you anything? Look, I just don't know, all right? Luke. It's just kind of there. Like, I looked at you, and some part of my brain just said, that's Sigma. <laughs> no, nothing in particular. You sure. Yeah, she's a real mystery, all right. I honestly know about as much as you do, so basically nothing. Do you think? Do you think Sigma has a lot more wrinkles than he realizes because we're a robot, and they put the Sigma skin on him, but the machine kind of aired out at some point, so his skin is all wrinkled like that alien guy from Men in Black. So he's going around with all these wrinkles in his face, and he has no, and he has no clue. And they just he just needs to go into the like the 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 suit the the human skin machine and they'll just tighten them up real quick and they'll be like oh okay now now I'm back to you know sure yeah sure more more I hadn't really realized it until I said it I'd spent hours with Fi and yet I knew nothing about her except her name and I only had her word that even that was the truth you know what I love about the scene that scene is that that's his wife doing that for him right and she's just like ah oh, whatever what's he making me do tonight. <laughs> He just keeps pouring the fucking sugar in the water and stirring it up. It's like, here you go. <laughs> it's such a weird fucking scene in Men in Black. All right. <laughs> Was she really? <laughs> the more I thought about it, the more suspicious she seemed. <laughs> a fake detective, a waitress, a garbage collector, an elementary school kid, a nurse, and a circus ringleader all walk into a bar. Plus two total mysteries. What do we all have in common? I don't think Zero would just grab a bunch of people randomly. So my guess would be that one of the people in here killed um, Alice's dad, but um, maybe that's like misleading based on on what happened. But if if she's the mummy, that's see this is really setting off my misdirection. Oh, you thought that it was the mummy that I'm talking about meeting in the desert? It was actually it's someone else that they met in the desert after they drove past her. You know what I mean? Like, like I don't know. There's no point to talking about this. We should just focus on getting out of here. Yeah, I agree. I'm gonna go check on the others then. Where do you then. plan on going? Men in Black is too way too boomer for chat to, to LLUJ about. Yeah, I agree, but I, th with, with the stream season, I just said fuck it to, uh, to worrying about if people are gonna get the jokes. I just do whatever now. There's no niche too small for me to go into. The lounge. The casino. I was thinking maybe the lounge. I see. I see. Right. Later, bro. I 
head out of the infirmary. But a bit of bum, but on, but on, bum, bum, but a bit of bum, but on, but on, bum, bum. But a bit of bum, but on, but on, bum, bum, but a bit of bum, but on, but on, bum, bum. But a bit of bum, but on, but on, bum, bum, but a bit of bum, but on, bum, bum. Good coffee. Oh, hey, Sigma. Hey, Fi. Can I get you a seat? Ooh. Are you some kind of waitress? What do you want? What do you mean, what do I want? I just came here to check up on you guys. So, this is the lounge, huh? A bar, a sofa, and three ladies. I feel like I'm in the VIP room. Can I get you a drink? Yes, you better not be underage. I turned 21 just the other day. And she was exactly 18 in the last game. So it's been three years. So it's been three years or she's lying or she doesn't know how long it's been. Hmm, okay. Oh, I see. Well, I guess we could probably have a drink or two then. Unfortunately, as much fun as that sounds, I don't think it's a very good idea. Why not? This isn't really a good time to be getting wasted. Really? It seems like this sort of thing is exactly what makes people want to drink in the first place. It's pretty true. Can't argue with that. Hmm. You've got a point. Sigma. He's got a point, Sigma. I'm just kidding. Or am I? Besides, I've got a headache. Drinking is probably not the best plan. It hasn't gone away yet? Well, it was fine for a while, but now I guess the bastard's back. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm sure. If I just leave it alone, it'll go away in a bit. That's how it went before, anyway. Has this been happening to anyone else? What? The headaches? Uh-huh. Now that you mention it... Yeah, I did get one a bit ago. I feel fine now, though. What about you, Luna? Um, you know, I think I did have a bit of a headache earlier. Not me. No headaches here. Well... Well what? It's hard to explain. I just feel kind of weird. Your head feels weird? No. My body feels weird. Like my whole body. Robot for sure? Do you feel kind of numb? I think I've got the same thing. Do you not know how you're dressed? Are you going to look down and be like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's kind of like, hmm. Like when you fall asleep on top of one of your arms, and then when you wake up, that, that arm kind of feels like it's not really yours anymore. It's not just my arm, though. It's also my my whole body feels kind of numb and foreign. Hmm. I don't know. I guess it's kind of like that, but... Also, not oh, really. that's what you're talking about. Then, yeah, I know what you mean. Really? It's kind of like my body isn't really mine. I'm sort of floating. Like that? Okay. Yeah. Maybe exactly. it's because of the anesthetic gas. Okay, do you feel that way too? Because right now I'm getting some big Robo Trio vibes. The what now? It might have looked like white smoke. The stuff they used when they abducted you. We're all robots, Lamayo! This... Oh, yeah, right. There are, in fact, like we two ways to remove the bracelet. So it must have been pretty powerful stuff. You think this might be some kind of side effect? Well, it could be a side effect, or it could be that it just hasn't worn off completely yet. Hmm. Whatever. That's not important. Right now, we need to figure out how to get out of here. All right, I'll go have a look somewhere else then. You guys going to stick around here? Yeah. I haven't really taken a good look at everything yet. Stick around? Oh my god, look at that weird animal over there. What? It's a stick insect. Okay. Catch you later then. I wave goodbye and head toward the exit. Where to next? There was only one other place I hadn't gone. Crew quarters.
Are snails insects? Um, I don't know. Aren't snails something else? They're in the insect area in terms of discussions, but uh, snails are something else, aren't they? Mollusks, oh, that's it. Perfect timing. You were in the crew quarters before, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, I was. Fi, Alice, and I went through all the rooms. Did you find anything suspicious? Yep. Like a secret door or something? If I had, you really think I wouldn't uh, have told you? What a weird mosque is I totally say. Obviously, I would say there's a weird bug outside. There's a weird insect. If I had never seen, if I had never seen a snail before, and it was my first time ever seeing a snail, I'd be like, whoa! And I run back in. Lily, there's this weird insect or weird bug on the front porch. And then she would come out and look at it and go, "That's a snail, dumbass." And I'd be like, "Snail? Hmm, very strange." Anything else out of the ordinary, perhaps? Out of the ordinary? Hmm. What's this book? Huh? Oh, that's a book. A meow cats. A meow. Uh, oh, sorry. It's just this thing that's happened to me ever since I was a kid. Whenever I start talking about cats, I start talking like one. It doesn't really mean anything, though. I I think it does. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> that's weird. So what's the cat book about? It's meow. Oh, uh, well, there's this quantum physics thought experiment called Schrodinger's Cat. This book talks meow it. Oh yes, I've heard about that. A cat is put in a box with a device that has a random chance to release a poison, which will kill the cat. That means the cat is both alive and dead until someone opens the box. Something like that, right? Meow be. What? what? I don't really know anything. Meowed it. I'm just telling you what Fi told me. So it probably isn't gonna give us any hints then. Okay, that was a big Paw Patrol vibes there. Mark, you're doing it too. <laughs> Oops. Ah, <laughs> oh, Quark is is us from the past. I figured it out. I can read spoiler chat now, right? Well, what about you guys? What do you mean? You checked out the lounge with Clover and Temioji, and Quark was in the infirmary with Dio and Luna. Anything suspicious there? Well, this whole facility is pretty suspicious, but I suppose that's not what you meant. Well, the puzzles in the lounge were lunar eclipse themed. Lunar eclipse? Yes. Apparently, there's supposed to be a lunar eclipse on December 31st, 2028. All the puzzles were related to that somehow. Isn't that this New Year's Eve? I suppose it is. Okay, but it's really far away? Well, I can't say I know what year, or even what day it is, but... Clover was saying something to that effect. The 31st, huh? I've been knocked out at dawn on the 25th, so the 31st would be six days after that. Lunar Eclipse. Lunar Eclipse. What did it have to do with any of this? Try as I might, I couldn't think of any way an eclipse could be connected to our abductions, although it is somehow because we're going on about it. What about the infirmary corps? Okay, if if we're on the moon from w the what we saw yesterday, is it even 2028? I'm going to guess no. But then maybe it is, because, like, why would that be relevant? Okay, whatever. What about the infirmary court? Did you find anything there? Yeah, we did find something. Just one thing, though. One thing. I don't know if I... What was you it? You and Luna didn't tell you? No. Okay, I got it right here. Just a second. Quark reached into his pocket and pulled out what, what, what appeared to be a newspaper clipping. My throat began to tighten as I read it. The lead ball. Radical... Six infection spreads. Cure continues to elude authorities. The radical six virus continues to spread across the globe like wildfire. There was confirmed that the death toll is estimated to have passed 100,000 victims. These are rookie numbers. Immediate quarantine of any infected patients is strongly advised, I'm guessing. Is this for real? It seems a little hard to believe. 
If it really is some kind of pandemic, though, that sounds like a pretty big deal. Nah, people will really underplay it. Yes, it does. There hasn't been anything on the news, though. This is the first time I've even heard of the, heard the term Radical Six. Was that true, though? Was that really the first time I'd heard it? I couldn't shake the feeling that I heard Radical Six somewhere before. <clears throat> Have you tried Diablo Immortal? Did you plan to? I did try it. Uh, I tried it the day after it came out, I think, or the day it came out. Um, I played it for about an hour on my computer, and I was so unbelievably bored that I just turned it off. Um, I hear that the way that it's monetized is eer eerily similar to the worrisome proposal I did at the end of my Diablo 3 video, so it seems like... Um, they definitely did take Diablo into the Hearthstone area. It just took them a lot longer than I thought it was going to take them. So I don't know why it took so long because it just looked like Diablo 3 assets to me. So like I don't I don't get it. Uh, it was kind of really awkward to play. But maybe that's because I was playing it on the computer. If I played it on the phone, maybe it would be better. But I just don't really want to. Sorry. Like I'd rather just play Path of Exile. I'd rather just play more of Diablo 3. Couldn't shake the feeling I'd heard Radical 6 somewhere before, but where? But, and why? If it is true, then I worry about what might be happening to the world outside. They calculated that if you played it entirely without paying anything, it would take you 10 years to get to max level. Holy shit. I'd rather play Vampire Survivors. Man, do I have a game for you. Is there a pandemic raging on the other side of these walls? Clover's voice shattered the silence. You guys! Your mummy collapsed. Hurry! You need to come with me. Has something happened? Yes! I mean, sort of. I mean, we found something. And then in the door, she set up a piano wire, and she runs through, and she's shorter than us, and then we all run after her, and all of our necks get cut off. S the quarks, too, somehow. What did you find? It's horrible. It's really scary. Someone took a shit in the corner. <laughs> what do you mean? I couldn't find the bathroom. Oh, horrible. Never mind. Just shut up and follow me. You'll understand when you see it. <laughs> it's right over here in the next room. Just follow me. Clover was first into the room, followed quickly by me, Kay, and Quark. She said nothing, just pointed under the bed. The three of us crouched down and followed her finger. There it was. What? What the hell is this? I think it's a, a bomb. Why would you just immediately think this is a bomb? It doesn't really look like a bomb to me. It looks like a Mega Man X upgrade canister. What is this thing here? Uh, Punch Wheel asks, are we going to be streaming the Summer Games Fest today? I don't think so. If you want to go watch it, though, go watch it. Or, you know, you can have two open at the same time. And you can just, you know, listen to me overlap with that. Um, I don't think I'm going to change over to uh, to it. Sorry. If I, it ends up there's some good stuff there, then maybe I'll regret it later. But now nah, we're just going to continue on with what we have. Also, someone said, um, someone asked, where does the Your Ex Collapse meme came come from? It came from uh, Persona 4. There was a scene when you're talking to a character, and it was a really, really boring scene. Um, it was You were in, like, Drama Club or something, and there's a bunch of you there. And just in the middle of the scene, just to, just to add some tension to it and some drama, another character just runs off from stage right into the scene and yells out, Yumi, your mother collapsed! That was, like, the, the intro of the, that, that character running in. Um, and then since then, it just kept saying things things and people collapsed throughout the whole entire game. So um, it wouldn't have become a meme, except like the very next in-game day, I think, it happened with Kanji. So it was two characters in a row with their social meeting. I think it was definitely during the same stream. It was like, Yumi, your mother collapsed. And then the next day with Kanji, someone else runs off screen again from off screen and says, Kanji, your mother's in the hospital. You know, like, so it became... Um, it became a meme, so yeah. Dojima, your lung collapsed. I think it's a bomb. B -b -b bomb <gasps> No way. So, thank you, Sigma. 
Goodbye. Yeah, okay, this is... Almost certainly not Mars. Unless there's something weird in, in, in the sky or the two Martian moons are a lot bigger than I think they are when you're on the Martian surface, but I don't think they are. So that that's certainly, certainly the moon, right? Or some completely alien place. Of course. Of course it was the same bomb I'd seen in my vision. Then it hadn't been a hallucination. I'm a god. Had it actually been a premonition? A deadly premonition. We need to tell everybody. No, it's all right. <laughs> Wait, what? Luna's out rounding them up. They should be here in just a few seconds. Okay. See? <laughs> Where is it? Where's this bomb? Wait, so they got to be told what it was, but we have to come see for ourselves? How did you find this, Clover? No sooner had she spoken the words than the rest of our fellow captives appeared. And we didn't find it when we searched this room? And we didn't find it last time? Luna pushed through them and pointed at the bomb. There. You see? Luna? Hmm. Are you a lunatic? Uh, we're all lunatics here. For several long moments, we just stared in silence. Slowly, we began to eye one another. Old suspicions suddenly reawakened. Mine were mainly focused on Alice. It was Phi who finally broke the silence, with just the, the longest, loudest fart I had ever heard ripped in my entire life. Doesn't look like it has a timed detonator. It sounded like she spoke when she when it came out of her. There must be a remote somewhere. You're right. It'll probably use an active button or a switch of some sort, not a dead man switch. If we can get it, we should be safe as long as we don't press the button. Hmm. That was, uh, informative. <laughs> Who was the first person to find this? Me! And, and Luna. We found it while we were searching this room. I thought you and Luna were in the lounge. Well, yeah. We looked all over, but we couldn't find anything there. So we gave up on the lounge and came here. And you found this, but we... Wait, isn't that one of the beds? Weren't the beds up against the wall? And we lowered it down? So that means so someone must have put it there? Are we going to point that out? That, that it Was it one of the beds? So the lounge came here. I can confirm that. I wanted to look around the lounge some more, so I stayed back. Or was it under one of the tables? You guys must have found it when you got here then? Yes. How did you know it was a bomb? Well, I mean, I could tell just by looking at it. Why? Well, during my train... <gasps> Clover! My training for setting up the Nonary game, I learned what bombs look like, because uh, this actual one, actually, because I had to set it up. Clover's eyes widened and she slapped her hands over her mouth. Oopsie doopsie. Anyway, this is definitely a bomb. I guarantee it. Okay, are we just letting that go? How do you know? Okay, we are. Alright, cool. I just do, okay? You sounded pretty sure about the switch, too. How do you know all this? Let's just say it's an occupational hazard. What occupation, though? What kind of occupation do you have? I agree with Fi. I can't tell you that. Why not? You have to kill us? Spare me the bullshit. This isn't time for keeping secrets. Please. Just trust me. You literally voted betray in the last game. Fi, please. Please. Look, I know I'm repeating myself, but I'm sure that's a bomb. And it's not just any kind of bomb. It's an antimatter bomb. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, you mean a bomb that uses annihilation energy? <laughs> oh, you know what that is? <laughs> anyway, yes, you're right. <laughs> uh, <what's> annihilation. Nation? <laughs> you know. <laughs> I would have thought you'd know. <sighs> Shut up. Huh? Drink your orange juice. Why? Why? Well, your name is Quark. Mm-hmm. 
fucking kids. Do you know what? You know what the kids have been doing lately? So, um, we, we had an argument uh, a while ago about the name of a character and something. I can't remember what it was. It was it's some, some media we had an argument over what, like, Mario character's name is or whatever. So, to win the argument, I, I pulled up my phone and I, and I played the video of, um, uh, the Scrubs Dr. Cox saying, Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. I played that to them to, to win. Is Scrubs too boomer for you all to, to know? Or is like, like, I don't know anymore. Um, so now that has just become something that Kate just says all the time. <laughs> Kate, you gotta finish your food. Wrong, 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 wrong. So that's, that's backfired. <laughs> Wrong, 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 wrong. Yeah? Grandpa told me about it. He said it's an elementary particle, one of the smallest bits of matter. Okay, you're pretending to be dumb. But I don't really know anything else. Uh huh. I see. Can you explain it to him, Tenmyoji? He's like, what have I created? Me? Well, you know him best. I thought you could explain it best. Uh, let me think. Um... I don't know. It's hard to think of a way to explain it in simple terms. You want me to do it? You're wrong. Yes, please. You're wrong. Fine, audit and turn to... Oh, this is important. Okay. Okay. To begin with, we usually refer to bits of matter as particles. But there are also these things called antiparticles. For example, an electron is a particle with a negative charge. It has a sort of opposite, which is the antiparticle called the positron. It has a positive charge instead of a negative one, like the electron. Mm -hmm. So, protons have antiprotons and neutrons have antineutrons. Antimatter is a general term that covers all the antiparticles. Man, they're, they're just riffing over there in physics, huh? They're just... Anything that has, you know, one part has seven opposite. This riffing over there. The thing that's interesting about antimatter is that because it's the opposite of normal matter, when they collide, they both sort of cancel each other out. Have you found any? No. When they cancel <laughs> each other out, though, it releases a whole bunch of energy. It's true, it does. That process is called annihilation. So, an antimatter bomb is a bomb that uses annihilation energy. Um, sorry. It, it is actually, this that is actually real, yeah. I'm just memeing. Yeah, this is, this is actual science. It's probably not exactly how they're describing it. Honestly, even if you went on to some sort of, um, explanation video or, or article, even that probably isn't actually how it works because even those are being simplified for you to be able to understand it because there are so few people in the world that can understand this truly how it is. And it's an ongoing process of, of finding it out too. But, um, so far everything that she said from my knowledge of watching the, and reading some of that stuff, this, this is actual... This isn't pseudoscience, like, um, quantum field bullshit, you know? I don't really get it. Not quantum field, sorry, more from energetic field or whatever. Oh. All right, how about this? You've got men and women, right? They're kind of like complete opposites? Mm-hmm. What happens when you put them together? They make a baby. Um, well, if there were, uh, quantum men and women, then when you put them together, they disappear. What the fuck are you talking about, Fi? This is making it even worse. Because their opposite elements cancel each other out. Like when a plus cancels out a minus, you get zero. That's annihilation. But when you get annihilation, you also get... Leon. I know! A baby! <laughs> yeah! Exactly. Yeah. In this case, the baby you get is the energy from the annihilation. Anaya Leon. It's not a real baby, of course, but like a baby, it's got all sorts of potential to do amazing things. Like explode. That's kind of a strange explanation. Uh-huh. You followed it, though, right? N I honestly, no, not really. Yeah! Okay, I'm dumber than Quark. Yeah, but that thing under the bed isn't going to be making a baby. Wait, it isn't? But Fi just said it would be. Just how big of a... Uh... Just how big of an explosion are we going to get here? It's pretty simple, actually. 
Just use Einstein's E equals MC squared. Oh my fucking god. The mass lost during annihilation will be converted to energy, so... So you would take the total mass of matter and antimatter and multiply it by the speed of light squared. Okay. That should get you the amount of energy. Okay, so you need to measure the amount that's in there. How are you doing that? For example... Let's say that it has 350 milligrams of antimatter. Okay, it might not. It might have so much more or less than that. That would mean there would also be 350 milligrams of matter, right? Yep, unless the bomb's not set up properly. So you'd have 700 milligrams total. Yes. That means annihilation would produce roughly 63 trillion joules. Okay, what if we found an anti-bomb, though, and put it in the room with it? That would make an inverse implosion at the same time as the explosion, and it would just cancel out each other, and it would just reform to make two new versions of the bomb and anti-bomb, and they would just keep going back and forth like that forever, like right next to each other, and we, and we could just roast marshmallows on it. What the fuck? You just ex exactly? Okay. 63 trillion joules. Man, that's a lot of joules. We can level up a lot with that. That's about as much energy as the Hiroshima bomb. Okay. What the? You've got to be kidding me. Okay, but there's only like one milligram of antimatter in there though. Don't worry. There's only 350 milligrams of stuff in there. Well, technically it's 700 milligrams since you have the matter and the antimatter. That's not the point. We're talking about something that weighs less than a gram being equal to a bomb that weighed like 10,000 pounds. Don't get so excited. Well, you have to also include the capsule that it's in to, you know, it's not, not fair. I think I know what kind of bomb this is. Okay, how and okay. It's probably using anti-hydrogen. There should only be about 25 micrograms of material in there. Okay. That's less than a thousandth of a gram. So you'd only get about 45 billion joules of energy, right? What does that mean? That's enough to make a coffee for sure. About as much explosive power as one ton of TNT. Okay, that's not too bad actually. A ton? Yeah, that's not too bad. Yes. Well, approximately. Yeah, that's not bad. And how exactly should I not worry about that? Because it won't even break out of this room. We're, we're fine, don't worry. It's enough to blow up a 10-story building. Nah, no, nah, it won't melt the foundation. It's fine. True. But it's a lot less powerful than an atomic bomb. We don't know how big this place is. If we can get far enough away from the bomb, we might have a chance of survival. Perhaps. But how do we know this is the only bomb? What do you mean? Look at it carefully. It's got a number three. Do you see it? Yeah, I was going to say that actually, but I didn't really know. It kind of looks kind of... There's no proper thing here. Kind of weird. Maybe it's EO. If the bombs are numbered... Then there could be a number two bomb or a number one bomb out there, huh? Or Zero just put a number three on it just to throw us off the scent. <laughs> I'm going to put a number on this and they're going to think there's more of them. But this is the only one. <laughs> Delightfully devilish, Zero. Yes. Run. Search for these bombs. Yes. 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 <laughs> there's no way to know if this is the final bomb either. There could be a fourth or a fifth or... Come with me. Play my games. Uh, there's a zero in front of it too, which means, you know, implies they go up to double digits. Okay, really, everyone? Okay. Anyway, we can't just sit here and do nothing. We should move it. Somewhere. Dio, step forward and reach for the bomb. No, no! don't touch it. Don't touch it. Just the slightest vibration. Alice grabbed Dio by the wrist and jerked him away from the bed. Oh, it is the bed. What the hell do you think you're doing? Okay, so why are we not saying we're the ones that opened the bed? Oh my god, did we plant the bomb? Is it is it real? Okay, so they did the upside down number writing bullshit, I think. So is it doing that bullshit too? Oh, when I turned the bed down, what I actually did was I dropped my, my backpack on the floor, opened the backpack, moved my shot put ball, got my antimatter bomb, put it under the other side of the bed. Like, like, why aren't we saying this, Sigma? Have you got a death wish or something? This bomb is here because somebody planted it. Do you really think they didn't rig it to go off if some idiot tried to move it? It's not even in any dirt, though. Then what the fuck are we supposed to do? We'll just have to leave it be for now until we can find the detonator or figure out how to turn it off. 
And you're telling us we should just prance off and ignore the incredibly deadly bomb that is probably going to kill us all? I would totally move it. There's not much else we can do. Do you know how to turn it off? Of course she does, but she's not going to. Well, there is a way. <gasps> then spill the beans, lady. You're not going to like it. How do we turn the damn thing off? There should be an emergency deactivation password. If you enter that password, the device should, well, deactivate. Okay, so is this um this path going to end too with you having to put in a password and we don't know it? So we just need to get this password. Yes, that's right. But there's no keyboard or anything on the bomb. How are we not asking more questions? Look again. You see it? Right here. There's a port. If we can find the password input device, we just connect it here. Then we can enter the password. Okay, and you don't think that the person who planted it didn't account for that? Okay, are we finally going to say it? Who would do something like this? Right now, I think us. I have no idea. I do. But we can figure out when they did it. Oh. Oh, yeah? When you and I searched this room, we didn't find anything, right? So that means the bomb must have been planted after we'd left. After we left, huh? But when we went and checked the chromatic doors, we were all there. And after that, we'd, we've all been around other, other people. There's no way anyone could have snuck off to plant it. I don't know about that. After we finished the A-B game, we all split up. But if someone planted it right before then... What do you mean? Oh, yeah. You don't know, do you? Before we went off to the three rooms, we searched the hallway. Everybody was all split up. <sighs> yeah. Anyone could have come by here then. It would have been easy to sneak away. Super easy. You know... I don't remember seeing you around, Sigma. What were you doing? Huh, well, I was, uh... I was just kind of deep in thought, I guess. I stayed behind in the warehouse when you guys went off. Also, lying to the player. In that time, I went here and planted a bomb. Coggers. Uh-oh. Wait, how am I the most suspicious one when Alice knows all about it and told Clover to shut the fuck up about her training and she voted Betray and she's like, oh, I know how to deactivate it and it's an antimatter bomb. Not only that, I know how much fucking antimatter is inside of it. I even know it's anti-hydrogen. Like, what, what the fuck? Oh, okay. Hey, why are you guys giving me that look? You don't think I planted it, do you? I never said that. <laughs> Not out loud, you didn't. You've got to be kidding me. I don't know anything about this bomb. Really? Are you sure? Isn't that obvious? Back when we were in the AB room, you said you saw the moment when the bomb exploded. Ooh, Fi, whose team are you on? That was um just a... I could hardly say premonition. If they didn't think it was the first lie on the planet, they'd, they'd think I was insane. All right, are we doing all of them again? Yeah. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. This doesn't make any sense. According to Temiyoji, any of us could have been in here. Why am I the only one who's under suspicion? And also, there's no way to know the culprit here is actually one of us. Maybe there's someone else in here and they set up the bomb. Impossible. Why? There's no way that would get past Zero. And there's no way Zero would let anybody do something that would get in the way of the gang going forward. Okay, you don't know that, and there's literally another dead body in one of those those cubicles, Fi. Um... Like, demonstrably false. She doesn't know that, but yeah. What? When you say Zero, you mean the AI, right? Of course. This is confusing. From now on, let's refer to the real Zero, the one behind all of this, as Zero Senior, which would, of course... Make the AI Zero Junior. Okay. Fine with me. Anyway, whichever one it is, they're not going to let a tenth person in. There's no way. Okay. Wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. <laughs> what if the tenth person is Zero Senior? I don't think it could be. Wrong, wrong. Why not? Well, Zero Junior said so. He said that the real Zero was one of us. Okay. Could, could be lying. Fine, Clover, right. 
there couldn't be a 10th guess. This is uniquely frustrating because we've already seen another path. Hmm. I wonder if they could have accounted for that in the story a little bit better. Because, like, this is just wrong. So, yeah. Hmm. Maybe we didn't get as good of an order this time. Although, this was a pretty good first order, I think. And Zero Senior was, without a doubt, one of us. Uh, and what if that was the case and could Zero Senior have planted the bomb? If not, then who had? Alice, Dio, Luna, K, June, Clover, Temyoji, Phi, or it seemed insane, but could it have been Quark? No. Why would Zero Senior have gone to all the trouble of setting a bomb to make this game more exciting? Okay, so. Hold on, what's what's the other alternative here? Someone snuck in a bomb? Someone found a bomb? Someone's like, you know what, here I go? Like, to make it seem more dangerous? No, it didn't fit at all. But that was the case, and the person who planted the bomb was someone other than Zero Senior. Oh no. Maybe this place just grows bombs. This is bad. <laughs> this is bad, what Press is it? Press the buttons on your bracelet. I just remembered that there's a dead body in the cubicle I used. Oh, four minutes again. Nice. Oh shit. Is this for real? We've only got four minutes until the chromatic doors open. Let's go then. You're right. This bomb thing is gonna have to wait until later. All right. Come on, everyone. I think that's what he said. The mic's not muted. What are you talking about? Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. The doors have opened. We need to figure out who's going where and fast. <laughs> uh, so our options this time are... Uh, okay, so once again... Someone isn't gonna let us go with someone. Oh, no, there is no choice. Oh Okay, cool. So someone's gonna decide for us. All right. We don't have time to wait for you to figure it out. Just pay attention I'm only gonna say this once. Okay Finally out our options Option a Luna and I yellow pair up with Clover Cyan to open the green door Temyoji and Dio magenta pair up with Alice yellow to open the red door K and Quark Cyan pair up with Phi Magenta to open the blue door. So we can go with... So we're with Luna no matter what? Oh, that's nice. So we can go with Clover. Luna and I, yellow, pair up with Phi Magenta. Okay, that seems like a good one. Luna and Phi again. That's good. Temyoji and Dio Magenta pair up with Clover. K and Quark pair up with Alice. Option C, Luna and I, yellow, pair up with Alice, yellow, to open the blue door. Temyoji and Dio. Oh, we can go with Alice again and vote ally and die. That's going to be good. Let's do that. Three minutes remain until chromatic doors close. Okay, how are we going to do this? We system here or we'll never have time to argue it out. Why don't we let the people who are at the most disadvantage right now decide? The most what? The people who only have one BP. Ah, uh, so it would be me, you, and Temioji. No way. I refuse. Shut up. Well, that. Well, then, what would we'll you suggest? And take a vote. A vote. So we all just like raise our hands to the option we exactly. want. Exactly. So which one do you want, Alice? Option C. I want to go with Sigma and Luna. Tough. Pick something else. My my. Looks like you're not so fond of me anymore. Do you agree with him, Luna? I'll just let Sigma decide. Fine. I'd like option C too. So she wants that so she can vote betray because she knows that we're gonna vote ally, right? Hmm. 
Clover and I were a pair for the first round, so I feel that I can trust her. What about you, Quark? That's fine with me. So that's three votes for option C, counting mine. How about the rest of you? I'd like to pair up with Sigma and Luna, too. Man, we're popular. So option B, then. I have to go with Phi. You good with that, Luna? I'm um, sure. I really don't mind. Then we've got three votes for option B. I'd like to go with option A. You want to pair up with Alice? You're a strange duck. <laughs> How about you, Tenmyoji? I don't mind going with option A. One minute remains until chromatic doors close. So two votes for A and three votes for B and C. If Clover's vote doesn't decide this thing, we're going to have to figure something else Which out. Which one do you want, Clover? Wait, what are we doing again? I... Choose Rapture. I want to go with option C. Quark chose ally in the first round, and I was with K in the first round. Then that's what we're doing. Option C had won four votes. We were almost out of time. I didn't exactly have a convincing argument. I was going to have to go with the majority. Ten seconds remain until chromatic doors close. Nine, eight, seven. What was option C again? The doors are closing. Let's go. Come on, Luna, hurry up. We gotta get to the blue door. Right. Are we with Alice? Luna, Alice, and I dash toward the blue door. Oh, we're with Alice. Okay, we're voting Betray. Okay, there's no way. Alice has made it clear. Okay, so if she, if she was, like, remorseful and she was like, yeah, okay, I know you're going to vote Ally. I'm sorry. I'll know next time. No, no, no. Like, absolutely voting Betray. Never, ever, 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 ever will I vote Ally with Alice on the other side ever again. Like, nope. Nope. Fuck her. Clover, Quark, and Kay, I had to end up on the red door. And Fai, Dio, and Tamiyoji had gone through the green door. I said that I would always vote ally, except in the case when there was a complete fucking asshole on the other side going into the cubicle, middle fingers up, going, I'm going to vote Betray, and that's what Alice does. So I'm completely consistent here. Never, ever, ever voting a fucking ally with, um, with, with Alice. Two, one, zero. Chromatic doors closing. Betrayer says what? I think this time though, if we get to down here, um, assuming that we go down here, the stream is probably gonna be next stream though. Um, I will reload and do this one right away. Because this seems like um, it's a... Uh, maybe I should have went back up and did that one too. Because um, this this seems like quite linear. Like we're not going to get all the way back down here again. While it's fresh, we should do both of these. Um, maybe I should loop back over here and do that one real quick afterwards too. And then do a fresh one over here. And then do the slides. I think that's what we'll do. Huh? There are three doors here. It looks like they're all locked, though. Does that mean this is just a dead end? Well, there's a weird lever thing over the over here. Try pulling it. How about you try pulling it? Hey, what's with all this hostility? Oh, gee, I wonder why. You're still mad about the last AB game? Yeah, of course I am. Please don't fight. We need to work together, or we're really going to be in trouble. Please. Urk. Very well. Very well. Pull the lever then. Is that okay? Yeah, go right ahead. See if I care. Whoa. <laughs> one of the doors but opened. Only one. I wonder how you open the other ones. Who cares? We should get moving. Okay, what escape room is this going to be? Whoa, what? Oh, neat! What is this place? Hold on a second. Um, if I go back here, right? So, there's three- there's three doors. Hold on. There's three doors. But, 
there's another three doors here, right? So, do they duplicate? Because there's six paths through these doors, right? But there's only three doors. So, on one of these other ones, do I go through the golem shop again? Or, hmm. What is this place? Don't tell me we somehow managed to get outside. I doubt it. Look up. There's a ceiling up there. Yeah, I remember the door said bee garden or something. What's a bee garden? It probably stands for something. Bunny bee garden. Beautiful? Huh. This feels like a whole other little world. Like an oasis in the middle of all this metal. I feel kind of weird saying this, considering where we are, but... This place feels so... liberating. Do you think there are fish in here? It's wonderful. It's huge, though. We'll wear ourselves ragged trying to search the whole thing. It's not that big. This must be the exit. Damn, well, so much for this being easy. It's locked. What, what, what were you expecting, Sigma? We should split up and look around. This is my favorite music track of the whole series so far. I really like this one. Agreed. Well, let's get to it then. Do, 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 do. Seek a way out. Okay, go to the water and look at your fucking reflection. Hey, we're gonna have to cross the water to go over here. Please be careful if you slip, you could fall into the stream. Clicking the blue arrow will move you from one current area to the adjacent one. What the hell's that? Wow, they made a waterfall. Hold on, doesn't it look like there's something built into the rock wall behind the waterfall? Yeah, the walkway goes under it, doesn't it? I wonder what's back there. Okay, let's go. Okay. There's three red buttons on the panel. I pushed them and nothing happened. Do you think they're broken? Maybe you just need to press them in a specific order. All right. One. You need to press the button in a specific order. The order's written down somewhere. Okay, I think I did them all, so, um, that's to be, like, you have to hit one twice or something. Large shovel, a steel-colored shovel. It's not rusty at all. Maybe keeping it in the shed kept it from rusting. This had been for digging stuff up. I can't think of any other use for it. A large shovel. Huh? There's something next to my foot. A small copper key. Probably goes into a keyhole. I mean, what else could you do with a key? Small copper key. Okay. A metal shaft. Tip is an octagonal hole. Kind of looks like a wrench. Are you guys tired when you rest on this bench for a while? The water from the waterfall splashes all over it, though. If we sit here, um, won't our butts get wet? God, I hope so. Damn it. I've been made. Oh. Really? We could totally get to that. Like, come on. Okay, there's the thing. That doesn't look like this would fit, but just in case, don't think it'll fit. You need something this right shape to fit that hole. Oh shoot, that look was about the right size. Yeah, didn't think so, but worth a shot. Anything behind the, the leaves? No. Red spotted mushroom growing in the shadow of the tree. Okay, pick it up. No, okay. Let's dig it up with the with the shovel. What a nice stream. Too bad there aren't any fish. Hi! Oh, you have bad memories of fish. I'm gonna try digging here. Oh, okay. Silver lid, can't get to open. Alright, so I'm guessing we need a silver key for that, but just in case. Yeah, didn't think so. Alright. Okay, so mossy rock is copper, mushroom silver, um, lilies are gold. Okay. Okay, 
Hey, it's a paprika. No, it's a pepper. Probably a bell pepper. Paprika is what you call the spice you make from them. Oh, huh. Why is it split in half? I'm not sure. Wait, is there something in there? Oh, yeah. Let me take a look. It's a poker chip. The casino! I didn't think a colored coin would be made of metal. You can get lots of different colored coins by using different alloys. I saw a five, a five cent coin made from brass once and a ten cent, ten cent coin made from bronze. I've seen people using a metal detector to search for coins on those shows where they hunt for treasure. Hunt for treasure. Yeah, I guess if coins are metal, that would make sense. Are we taking this too? Okay. Maybe the other things, the other vegetables. Yeah, I was about to say that. That's that's a good good thing. Do you think there might be coins in these tomatoes too? All right, bust open those vegetables. Maybe, but there are awful lot of them. They all look the same. If only I had a way to tell which tomato had a coin in it. I mean, it won't take that long. Onions, cucumber, cucumber. These cucumbers are long, so long. Do you think there might be a coin in one of them? Maybe we should just go through them one by one and bite into them. That's not a good idea. There's got to be something we could use to make it easier. All right, so we literally have to find a metal detector. All right, cool. Just a flower pot. Nothing special about it at all. Wait, don't people usually hide their house keys under a flower pot or in the mailbox? They do. Just trust me. I'm sure there's something under there. Oh my God, she's right. Best girl. What? A piece of paper. I got it out of a silver box. Two opposing edges are torn. Okay, so dig these up, or dig near them. You dig up the, the skunk cabbage. Poor thing, it's never done anything to you. Don't worry, I'll replant it when we're done. So this is the gold one, we don't have the gold key. Okay, let's take the gold key. Metal scale, there's a plate on each side, on the right plate. Small golden key. Herring knife. What's that? It's a knife you use for small, delicate work like deveining shrimp, but you can use it to cut pretty much anything. That's awesome. Um, you know, about cooking and stuff. I bet Alice just cuts things with her bare hands. Whoa! I guess it's time I showed you just how good I am at cooking things. You're good at everything. I think I'll start by cooking you. Sorry. Oh, she fell for it. Nice. Alright, so I'm guessing this is to cut some of the vegetables that we get when we get some sort of metal detector or something. Um, and we have to put the coins on each side to, to, to balance them? Like, it already is balanced. Maybe it's not perfectly balanced? Oh, never mind. I'm an idiot. Okay, cool. What does this go? Oh, that looks like it goes in there, and then we turn it with that thing. Can we combine it right away, or...? Yeah, we can. Alright, cool. What's that? Tufio Ego Eris. Tuturu! Metal detector. This is a metal detector. It's pretty much what it says on the tin. You use it to detect metal. What sort of range do you think this has? Depends on the amount of metal. Large objects can be detected even if they're several meters underground. That's amazing. What about small things like a ring or a screw? Yeah, unfortunately, sometimes you can't find that sort of thing even if it's only a few centimeters underground. Oh, so you need to be pretty close to it for the metal detector to work then. Okay. And a keyhole. This is... Looks like a tombstone. The people buried here are Mr. Tufi and Mrs. Ego Eris. What? Well, that's what it says. Tufio ego eris. That's an epitaph. Something like they feel, something that they feel represents them, or just a phrase they liked. Um, I don't know what this means, and I feel like I kind of should. Maybe I've seen it before somewhere, but maybe not. What does it mean? Beats me. Any ideas, Luna? It looks like it's Latin, but I don't know what it means either. Hmm. Did you see this? It looks like there's a keyhole down here near the bottom. You're right. Okay. Do I have any keys left? I do. It's not going to fit, though. Nope, no luck. Alright, let's dig it up. What's that? Looks like some sort of tile mosaic in the bottom of this pond. That looks like it will open and drain. A lion, yeah. Looks like a lion, alright. Why are there so many lions? Tom is at the bottom of the pond. Okay, so is there 
a, a lion somewhere that's explicitly number nine that you get something from in one of these rooms and use on one of the other paths because that seems like it all right we missed a um like a, a mossy rock or something to dig up i thought it would be obvious maybe it is and i just missed it is it this there's something here but i can't really tell That looks really weird. Alright, let's start digging here. Okay, so left, right, right, left, middle, middle, right. Okay. Left, right, right, left, middle, middle, right. The waterfall stopped. I guess that was the waterfall control panel. All right, and these need coins. Okay, so, um, yeah, all right. So, ascending value, I think. Handle fits perfectly into the hole in the wall. The square hole, good. Now try turning it. When I turned the handle, it got dark. Looks like the light then went down. Did it go into the lion's mouth? It ate the sun? Maybe that light was a sort of surrogate sun. If that's the case, it didn't get dark. It became nighttime. So that the garden needs nighttime, I guess so. Or maybe there's some kind of hidden meaning to switching from night to day. Let's go see if anything's changed and it's dark. If we want it to be afternoon again, all we have to do is turn the handle, right? Okay, so like that is the most explicit lion eating the sun that I've seen. There's stars everywhere. Um, so does that mean this is important? What do you mean it's too dark to see what's going on? I want to go back to the thing. No, it won't let me. I want to write that down. Hey, look at that. Are these stars? Maybe the idea was that when night falls, the stars come out. Hmm. Okay. Purple star. Blue star. Yellow. Is it one underneath? Purple, blue, yellow, green, red. Star showed up once night fell. I wonder if there's some significance to that. That's weird. Okay, so. Brain memory. The fuck? Okay, so it went uh, purple. Shit, uh, it was green, red at the end. Red, green yellow blue purple blue yellow green red see it again stars red lights underneath this is a big star so far i found one star oh, oh okay so it's pretty green it's a pretty small star i'm impressed you even saw it so far i found two stars all right the star is yellow Size, shape, and color exactly what I expect from a star. I guess you could say this is a typical star. I would say it's mid sized. Okay, so hold on. Let's keep track. So mid. Uh, green was smallest, I think. Red, biggest. I don't know if this is important, but I'm writing it down. This one's blue. I feel like I just reach out and grab it. How romantic. Well, I am a woman. Whoa, it looks like a little large for me to carry though. All right, so blue, blue was next. Yeah, blue. And this was big, but not the biggest. Oh. 
purple, small and cute. So far I found, f okay, and that's not the smallest. So purple, small. Okay, I don't know where any of this goes, but all right. And was that it? Five stars? I thought for sure there would be like one hidden underneath here somewhere. Okay, what the hell is this all about? Can we go through here? That's where we came through, yeah. Okay, let's turn it again. Maybe something um, something happens when we uh, use the coins. Turn the handle back, made the room bright again. The light came back down and turned the light light back up. So sun was out, the night, okay. Um, I kind of want to write that down. I feel like that may, that might be... That's the most explicit lion eating the sun so far. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Oh, the metal detector seems to respond to this tomato. All right, grab it. Okay. Nope. Just this one. Here you go. All right. All right. Reddish coin I found in the tomato. Oh, so those correspond with the amounts but there's only there's only um uh the values of the stars but there's there's only four coins right because there's only four slots for coins oh this one's wrapped into this onion all right all right let's take it up this is the only one i got one re any reaction right white coin i found it oh there wasn't a white star okay never mind Unless white is all of them combined. Oh look, the metal detector is reacting to this one. Can you grab that one then? Right. Any others cause reaction? No, just this one. Here you go. All right, cucumber. Green. A greenish coin I found in a cucumber. Okay. Oh, all we have is the chips now. All right, cool. Okay, excuse me, boss. Bikoi, I want to write this down. So, two. Uh, was it an F? I think that's an F, not a T. That looks kind of curved here, but it could not be. Wait, will they say it? Yeah, it is an F, okay. Ego Eris. All right. Now it looks like Bikoi has great wisdom, right? Green was the smallest. Purple? I don't think there is a purple one. Red? Red was the biggest. Yellow and blue and purple. All right, that could be yellow. Yellow is the middle one. That doesn't really help me. That could go in either one of these. No. Okay, I kind of feel like white would be all of them. So that would make that one and then this one. Is that it? No. Okay, Um, I don't know. Do I have to combine the colors? Because if that's the case, like, white is definitely the top one, right? That's the top one. They're not the same colors, though, so I don't think so. Yellow would be in the middle. Green would definitely be down here. What I have it last time, did I have red and then... And then 
Okay, so let's switch them, and if that doesn't work, then I'm missing something. No, that's not it. Okay. Lesson signs between the indentations, but it's something to do with the colors going where. Our coins are so 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 so. How are we supposed to compare them? Wait, wait. Things on scale around here somewhere. You can use to compare them. Okay, so we ha we do have to go use the coins on the way and scale then. Okay, cool. All right. I thought it was the colors and the stars. So what are the colors and the stars for? Hmm. Balance scale. I can use to see how heavy things are. I should weigh the coins with this, huh? Drive the coins in the, and place them on the plate. You can press check to compare the weights of the coins placed on it. Once you finish weighing them, press the reset button. Okay, so yellow. So green weighs more than yellow. All right, so green weighs more than yellow. Um, hold on, let's see. Can we can we get one, you know, green and white? Green weighs more than white. Green weighs more than red. Okay, so green is the heaviest. Green, heaviest down here. Green is the heaviest. Okay, so uh, can we find out which one is the lightest? Shit. What? They just flew everywhere. Do you think they're broken? Let's see. Oh, I get it. If you use the scale more than five times, it triggers a spring, which makes the whole thing shake. It'll do the same thing if you stop using it before you've reached five times. Oh, right. We need to pick up all the coins. What? Well, now I've got all the coins. Okay. Well, I know green's the heaviest now, so I can just I can just go fucking Nagito it. Give me a second. I don't give a shit. All right. But up, but but up, but but. What's that noise? It sounded like it was something unlocking. I guess it wasn't just a panel; it was actually a door. And there's a screen side of it. It's showing nine stars. What are we supposed to do with them? Well, why don't you try touching them? Press the star buttons in the correct order. Okay, so purple. <laughs> purple. Alright, uh, <laughs> so it would be purple, purple, green, yellow, blue, red. Purple, green, yellow, blue, red. What do you mean? Purple, green, oh no, it's green, purple. Green, green, purple, yellow, blue, red. Green, purple, yellow, blue, red. What do you mean? Green, smallest. I wish there was an eraser. Green, smallest. Purple. Yellow. Blue. Red. All right, so if it's not this, it's just the order in, in the river. So green, purple, yellow, blue, red. Green, purple, Yellow, blue, red. Okay, maybe it's not. Maybe it's this one up here. Green, purple, this one, blue, red. No. So it's the order that they were in the river. Okay, so purple, blue, yellow, green, red. Purple, blue, yellow, green, red. Okay, so that was it. Okay. Is it biggest to smallest? Awesome. I solved it. Good work. Look at the screen. Okay, star, star, sun. Huh? This is the safe password. We're gonna be for now. We literally already solved it. Yeah, star, star, sun. I think it was. It's a safe. It was a safe that looked like last in the clue course too. Let's see if we can get it open. So, um, moon, moon, star, star, sun. There we go. Yes, it opens. You did it. Good job, Sigma. A lot of stuff in here. Let's have a look at it then. First off, this looks like a map. On the upper left, it says floor B. The map we found in the crew quarters said floor A. So A is the top floor and B is the bottom floor. I mean, I know we took the elevator down, down to get here, so excuse me. Oh, we're past time for break. Right. Let's keep going. There are more things in the safe. This is has a moon on it. That means, yeah, this is the moon card that the announcement was talking about. There's two of them in here, just like with the sun card. You should take one, Alice. Why? Well, you're a solo. 
Lou and I will take one, and you just take the other one. No, don't give it to her. Then she has to vote ally. She's allergic to that. She'll die. Right. Thanks. <laughs> Snap it in front of her like a Chad. So what we got next? It looks like a piece of paper. Whoa. What? What is this? Nevada test site. Rhizom 9. What the fuck? Some kind of diagram? Rhizom 9 sounds like some sort of compound or some sort of uh like a planet designation are we not on the moon are we on like really far away it doesn't make any sense i wonder what it is oh well just forget about it for now we can always come back to it later there's two more things in here what is this ig equals immunoglobulin globulin immunoglobulin it looks like a note Immunogoblin. What's immunoglobulin? It's another word for an antibody. You mean like the stuff in your body that fights off bacteria and viruses and stuff? Yes. So what is it supposed to tell us? Honestly, I have no idea. Honestly, I have no idea. The only thing left is this key. That must be the key to the exit. Yes, I think you're right. We should be able to use it to open the door. But not yet. We have to go back and get the golden file, which I'm going to guess is ordering the stars in order from biggest to smallest instead of smallest to biggest. Awesome. What are we waiting for? The casino. Okay, so it's biggest to smallest. Last time we did smallest to biggest. All right, so red, blue, yellow, purple, green. Red, blue, yellow, purple, green. Red, blue, yellow, purple, green. Yay! Yeah, <laughs> thought so. You did it. Hey, check out the screen. Star, moon, sun. Star, moon, sun. Whoa, what's going on? The screen's changed. Star, moon, sun. Whoa, it opened again. Is there something inside? All right, time to take a break right now. Oh, my shoulder kind of hurts and we're done now. So let's, before we move on in story time, let's, let's take a quick break. Be back in about five minutes, chat.
Hello. How's it going? So I have a soda, so I may burp on stream. So just want to give a, a, a warning of that, okay? I apologize in advance if I burp on stream. I may even gurgle. What kind? I have an iron brew. No sooner had we stepped out of the garden than I saw the three people I had watched leave through the green door sometime earlier. Whoa. What are you guys doing here? I gotta be asking you the same thing. How'd you get here? Sigma, hand me the map. There's a place you gotta go. Map. Oh, right. I dug the map out of my pocket and spread it out in front of us. Iron Brew ain't bad at all. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. It's probably my second favorite soda. It's possibly my favorite because it's rare. It's I don't get to get it. I don't get to have it very often. Um, so when I do, it's like a huge novelty. But describing it to anyone makes it sound really gross. Like, it tastes like pennies, you know? Like, it's very metallic. But it's nice. It's really good. It tastes good. It's the most popular soda in Scotland. That's where... Um, that's where I know it from. What? Yeah, it does. Someone in someone in chat it will have have had it. Yeah, it, it kind of tastes like like metal, like soda metal. It does, but it's nice. I, I really like it. It's pleasant. I dug the map out of my pocket and spread it out in front of us. You three came in through the blue door, right? Iron Rose good. Is it good with whiskey? I wanted to have a drink that I would like, an alcoholic drink that I would like, um, and I finally settled on. Um, uh, Whiskey and Coke. One shot of whiskey with a, with a can of Coke. And I can actually drink it. I actually like it. It's the first time in my life I've ever had a drink that I like. Uh, it was also um, reassuring to find out that I that I wasn't an alcoholic like like my like my rest of my family. I, I drank it for a while. I had one a night for a while. Didn't get drunk. And I just stopped. I was like, I don't really need any of this. Now, if I became like, like, like raging drunk like multiple times a week, maybe I would develop it. But it was nice to do that. Um, I haven't had a, a whiskey and Coke in... Like, I think I had one last month, and that's it. I haven't had any for for months before that. Um, so I really like um, Jack Daniels and and Coke. So what's Iron Brew and and Jack Daniels like? I tried it with a Coke Zero, and it was gross. The aspartame kind of taste of it with the whiskey was just like, oh my god. So it has to be actual actual Coke, unfortunately. Get whiskey ginger. That's a lot lighter on the stomach. Whiskey ginger. I would try that. I would try almost anything with whiskey at this point. Just one shot of whiskey. You three came in with a blue door, right? Yeah. In which room did you go into? This fan-shaped one. It's called the Bee Garden. Bee Garden? Bee Garden. This is big dome with a bunch of plants in it. Oh, we were in the A Garden. Look, you can go see it yourself later, all right? What about you guys? Well, after we went through the green door, we ended up in the treatment center. Treatment center? Hmm, and then we met up. Right here. So, what's the treatment center? It sounds a lot like the infirmary. You wanna have a look? We can go back to any of the rooms we've already visited. Treatment center. Fruity drinks or non-fruity no? drinks? AKA bad drink. Alcohol drinks, you mean? Like free drink? I haven't really had a lot of alcohol drinks. I don't like beer. I don't really like the taste of alcohol in general, sorry. I know that might be a normie kind of thing, but yeah, I don't really like it. But whiskey's okay. Right? Straight whiskey's kind of okay, but I much prefer it with um with some Coke. So I probably only had bad beer, is is why I don't like beer. That's probably why. I think I've tried maybe like five different beers in my life, and I, and I haven't liked any of them, so why would I be like, oh, you know, I'll just continue on, 50 more, and eventually I'll get one, but yeah. So, sure, let's have a look. After a few moments of brisk walking, we found ourselves in the treatment center. Treatment center. Okay. Suspicious. You guys didn't open the safe. Oh, it closes afterwards, right? Oh, lion eating his son again. All right. What are those? They're why this is called a treatment center. What are those? Those pods can cure a number of illnesses and even repair certain injuries. Okay. Why didn't we take uh, Luna here then? Whoa, that's nuts. How about you climb in one of them, Dio? Why? 
Well, maybe it can fix whatever's wrong with your brain. Whoa. Uh, hey. Oh, why don't you go in and it can remove what's ever stuck up your ass. You want to start something, lady? Calm down now, son. You don't cool off a bit and I'll have to throw you in one of these pods here. Huh? Why? Weren't you paying attention? They have a cold sleep function. I figured that ought to cool your head up. Wait. Did you say cold sleep? That's where they freeze you, right? And you can stay that way for a really long time? Yeah. Yeah. According to some records we found in here, until about eight hours ago, there were three frozen people in these pods. Whoa, and there's one of them still in there. Three people? Who? It was you. You were frozen again. You mean three of us were? We don't know. Maybe there's more of these rooms. All we found was what was in the logs for the pods. <laughs> logs for the pods? How long were they here? No idea. Part of the logs were erased. All that's left is when the cold sleep function turned off. Why on earth would someone go to all this trouble to set up a game in like this in a scientific facility that seems to actually have functional scientific equipment for nine random yahoos f just like picked up on earth to just be like, hey, here we go. Like, w w what's going on here, man? It records them thawing out, getting up, and that's it. Then they could be anyone. Anywhere. Well, anyone but you. What? Why not Alice? Because you don't need a device like this to freeze Alice. Am I wrong? Huh? What are you talking about? You don't need to play dumb. Ooh. The water in your body isn't normal water. What? It's something called Ice 9. <laughs> it freezes at 96.8 degrees. What? <laughs> That means all you have to do to put yourself in cold sleep is drop your body temperature below 96.8. No fancy machine needed. How odd is she then? Oh, is that why she's not dressed? Are, if I touch this right now, will my hand get burned? Where on earth did you hear that? From Clover. Clover? When we were exploring the lounge during the first round. I see. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Oh man, you fell for that one hook, line, and sinker, didn't you? Clover was messing with you. Wait, hold on. So she just came over and told you the story about Alice and blood and everything, and you were like, hmm, yes, yeah, seems legit. Like, what? Like... <laughs> that is, if she even said anything to you at all. It was a lie. It was a, a lie. Joke. What do you mean, if she said anything to you at all? He just made this up? A joke? A joke? No, there's no way it was a joke. I'm sure about it. Your body is made of Ice-9. Well, you're mistaken. It's a ridiculous misunderstanding. An urban legend. With seemingly no other prompting, Alice launched into a lengthy explanation. <sighs> it went something like this. At some point in the past, someone found a frozen mummified Egyptian queen. If, if it's just that she was just a hitchhiking woman in the desert that just so happened to be there at just the exact time, at this precise point that this people came out in a car, that with the story of Ice Nine, dressed up as a lost Egyptian mummy, completely entirely localized to this road in this desert next to the Nevada facility. Can I see it? What was curious about this- and her name was actually Alice! What was curious about this mummy, however, was that it remained frozen at room temperature. People began to refer to her as All Ice, which eventually became simply Alice. Rumors that her body made, was made of Ice 9 began to circulate, and her bizarre refusal to thaw only compounded- I thought it wasn't her body was made of it, I thought she was just frozen in it. They say that the mummy finally thawed, and when it did, it began to move. And ever since then, I've had people say they thought I was her. Why? I mean, really. How could anyone believe something so ridiculous? You look at how you're dressed, and you have the same name, and you met her- The existence of this mysterious Alice, and of this ice that doesn't melt, are just urban legends. Okay, this isn't just going to be the whole end of this, right? But why would people make that mistake about you in particular? It can't just be because your name's Alice. Yeah, that's true. There are tons of Alices. Yep. Is it because of your face? And every, how you look? Every Alice has to deal with this. Well. It is true that I am both beautiful and elegant. 
Can I really be blamed if people think I'm an Egyptian queen? I don't think that's the only reason, though. Someone who made that mistake said something to me once. They claimed they'd seen me before. Of course, I immediately pressed the issue. Do you mean the mummy, Alice? I said. When? Mummy? Where? Of course, they were at a loss. In fact, I began to feel a little sorry for them. So I told them something. If you're so convinced, then maybe I am actually Alice. I am Lamayo? But maybe I've lost my memory and can't remember who I am. Okay. And so on and so on. I'm still not sure why Clover would tell you something like that, though. Even if she was just messing with you, it seems a little out of left field. You really think she put that much thought into it? She was probably just screwing with him and it was the first thing that came to mind. My god, this is... The, oh, that's the first thing that came to mind. Yeah, my god, this is the end, isn't it? This, this, this is it. We're gonna move on now. Maybe she wanted to see if she could get him to believe something completely ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. I could see her doing something like that. I don't think I have ever related to a fictional character more in my whole entire life as I do with Ten Miyoji right now in this moment. This is just... Wow. Well, I think that's enough idle gossip for now. The cold sleep business is interesting, but I don't think it's terribly useful. <laughs> this is not, this is no more. We should go see if the other team has returned to the warehouse yet. What the fuck? What the fuck? At Alice's request, we made our way out of the treatment center. All right. Still haven't burped yet. That's a bad sign. Usually when I don't burp, it means there's one big one coming. I have to mute the microphone. Mila had a good burp earlier. <laughs> this is. It looks like another warehouse. It looks like the same warehouse. Hey, look. Three more doors. Door. Where did you get here? They're all glowing white. You think? Can you burp on command? I actually can. Um, I, it's not like proper burps though. They're like they they become kind of weak and pathetic, kind of like just little blip burps. But I actually can. But if I do it enough, I, I I think I get close to throwing up. These might be the next set of crank doors. I bet on it. Look. They've got the same boxes next to them as the other doors. I can also move my ears without touching them. So the next set of doors are... white? They haven't all been the same color before. Well, we definitely need to tell the others about this. Right. Right, let's head back to floor A. Please burp, Joe. I need the recording permission. No, I, it's one of my hard and fast rules. I don't make biological sounds by request on stream. It's been like that since someone said, if I give you 500 bits during the God of War stream, will you deep throat the microphone or, or, or something like that? I can't remember what they said. No, I will accidentally make noises on stream, sure, but like I'm not gonna be like sitting here. Oh, what would what would you like my body to do now? Like no, so did, no, I didn't. Joe, thoughts on Pizuri? Um, I prefer normal pizza. Like, they're oh, okay though. Goodness. Like, if you're gonna like fold it up, like I prefer a smaller one. But like, um, just a normal pizza for me, thanks. You finally returned. I was beginning to get anxious. Did something happen? Yes. It's Quark. You see, he. What? What happened to Quark? He collapsed. <laughs> it happened so suddenly. We were just searching our room. <laughs> what? What? Please, you must hurry to the infirmary. Clover is looking after him, but his condition could change at any moment.
All right, that was a that was a four burp problem. All right, it's done. You should go. Oh no. Temyoji shoved K aside and leapt through the yellow door. The rest of us exchanged a few startled looks and ran off after him. Quark. Quark. Was that the um the injector gun there below one of those uh, carts? Quark. Come on, kid. Get a hold of yourself. Should tell you by now. This kid's diabetic. I didn't want to tell you until it became you know urgent. I thought we had more time. Turns out I miscalculated how long we were in that room for. He needs some insulin. Temioji grabbed Quark's shoulders and began to shake him desperately. It was Clover who stopped them. Hey, what are you doing? Smile. <laughs> He's sick, and we don't even know what's wrong with him. What if you make him worse? Smile. Then what am I supposed to do? I have to save him. Save? That seems a little extreme. Maybe he just has anemia or something. No, that's not it. I know him better than any of you. He doesn't have anemia. In He's fact, never just collapsed before. He collapsed. He, 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 more than that, I know him better than all of you. He's pretending. Stop doing it, Quark. Well, then call an ambulance and stop freaking out about it. Dio, what the fuck, dude? Son of a bitch. This is serious. The infirmary seems pretty well equipped. There are plenty of diagnostic tools, but without a doctor, there's not going to be much we can do with him. <laughs> All right. Well, we've got Luna. Luna. That's right. I remember Dio saying something. You have a medical license, don't you? Um. Um. Wait. Really? Is that true, Luna? Um. Well, yes, but. You have to take a look at him then. Are you a vet? Please. Quark needs your help. That's somewhat common in media when it's like, oh, you know, we need a doctor. Well, I can help you, but I'm not, I'm kind of a doctor. What are you? Oh, I'm a vet. And oh, shit. Okay. I'll see what I can do. I think that machine over there is a medical scanner. It's called an atom. It uses nuclear magnetic resonance imaging to examine and diagnose people. Big, big first path vibes. <laughs> so that thing can tell us what's wrong with Quark. Yes. Yeah. I believe it can. So in the other path, did he collapse and someone moved him to somewhere where no one could find him? Or did he collapse and we just never found him? Hmm. I don't want to rush you, but the sooner the better. Just let us know if you need anything. Of course. The whole process took only a few minutes. The machine scanned Quark's body, and within seconds, his results lit up the screen. Words too complicated for me to understand scrolled across it, and as she read them, Luna's face grew dark. She bit her lip and just stood there for a moment, looking down at Quark before she spoke. Well, He's dead. I, I know what's wrong with him. Uh-oh. I feel so terrible saying this, but Quark is... Quark has an infection. A viral infection. Okay, can you scan all the rest of us to make sure that we don't have an infection too? Surely, that would be the next thing we should do, right? To make sure none of us have it. And through the medical scanner, we're going to find out if any of us aren't human. But what's really going to happen, because of this game, is that no one else is going to be scanned. That's what's going to Even though it makes perfect fucking sense after this to be like, Wow, I wonder who else has it. Let's find out. No one is gonna be scanned. Oh, Here no. we go. Oh no. Don't tell yes. me. Yes. He's been infected with a virus called Radical Six. <gasps> dun dun. Have you heard of this virus? Radical Six, I mean. It, yeah. It's rad. I'm so jealous of this kid. I told Alice and Tenmyoji about it. Fi and I heard about it from Luna. Smile. The biggest. Most awful. Dia and Luo, Luna, Luo were the first two people to investigate the infirmary. I just butchered that whole sentence. They must have seen the newspaper clipping that Quark found. I stayed behind after the AB game and it's all split up and gone into different rooms. Oh, okay, hold on. Is his name actually Quark? There's no way that's his real name, is it? It seemed like one way or another, everyone had heard about Radical Six. No. No. He can't. No. How could he have gotten infected? That's not possible. 
Well, it's just a theory. Something about the tone of his voice seems strange. Why wasn't it possible? Had Temyoji known about Radical Six before the rest of us? There must be something we could do! How can we cure him? Well, Adam says there's an antiviral serum called Excelivir. It's the only way to counteract Radical Six. If we can inject him with some, he should... He should be okay. Really? Hmm... Okay. Where is it? Shouldn't it be in the infirmary somewhere? It's right here. We looked around, but we didn't see anything. I don't trust a damn thing you say. I'm asking Luna. I'm sorry, but Theo's telling the truth. We didn't find anything. What about the treatment center? Damn it. What about the other rooms? Sigma, what about you? Did you find anything? No, nothing like medicine. I mean, it was just like a park. Lots of vegetation and stuff, but no medicine. What about you, Kay? And then we went to a treatment center that had cryogenic beds in it, and instead of searching the, the, the room, we just spoke to Alice about whether or not she's an Egyptian mummy, and it turns out it was just a joke. Was there any medicine in your room? We visited the laboratory. There were a number of chemicals and concoctions there, some of which were medicine, but nothing like what we're searching for, I'm afraid. Oh, God. Then he's... He's going to... Wait, the treatment center. Oh, God, no. Look, just to be sure, the three of you went to the treatment center, right? And you're sure it wasn't there? No, there was nothing even remotely like it. Okay. But you didn't know what you were looking for back then, so we should all go check again, right? Because we didn't know what it was called. And all those names are really complicated and kind of blend together, so let's go check again. You went there too, didn't you? Yeah, and then we spoke about a fucking mummy joke. The only thing in the treatment center are those treatment pods. No, there's way more than that. Treatment pods. That's it. Put them in one of those. If we put Quark in one of those pods, surely they will work. For a moment, there was silence. Quark? Quark! <laughs> I'm all better now. Oh, thank God. What's he holding? You're awake. Get away from me! What? Quark, what are you... <sighs> Sorry, Grandpa. I can't. I... <sighs> I have to. Have to what? What are you talking about? Isn't it obvious? Isn't that obvious? I have to escape. But how? Like this. Uh oh. Is he gonna stab himself? Quark's hand moved like lightning. He grabbed hold of the scalpel and was driving it straight toward his heart. <laughs> Stop! No! Let Whoa! Go! Let go of me! How did we manage to do that? That was uh. Okay, our hand doesn't look old, but you know, doesn't really matter that much. Huh, pretty tough for a kid. Hey guys, I can use a hand here. Uh, yeah, right. On it. Okay, are we gonna be told after this we've never they've never seen anyone move that fast before? Me too. Stop it! Let go of me, you jerks! Temioji, what the hell are you doing? Get over here. Temioji, can you even hear me? Oh. Right. Damn you! Bastards! Why won't you let me go? I have to get out of this body! They can't lock away the soul! Once my body's gone, my soul can escape! True. Please! You have to let me go! Let me go! I'm trapped here! Let me die! I have to die! Kill me! So, he said something similar last path too, but earlier than this. Somebody! Anybody! Kill me! Kill me! Kill me! Ah! <laughs> God's sake, let's just kill him. <laughs> Jesus, this kid's lost it. Hey, somebody get that scalpel away from him. Oh, it was still there! Good. Thanks, whoever that was. <laughs> Alright, that's that's not gonna come back to haunt us later. <laughs> 
Wait, who had the scalpel? I don't know, just someone took it. Thank you, whoever that was. Quark barely even seemed to notice the loss of the scalpel. He continued to scream and ride like he was possessed. What are we going to do? We've got to calm him down somehow. Yes? Are there any tranquilizers in here? No. Well, I mean... What? They're super L beta. Super L? That's the anesthetic. Smile. The one that's in our bracelets. Good. Perfect. All right, let's all use it to build up a tolerance. Hit him with some of that. What? He'll be fine. It's just an anesthetic, Tenmyoji. What the white? It won't hurt him, I promise. Uh huh. But just hurry up and do it. Come on, Luna. Okay, let me just. Tenmyoji, how much does Quark weigh? Real quick. Okay, I've got it. Good. Wait until he's... Now! Do it now! Right. No! Stop! Stop! My god, he's dead. <laughs> pant, pant, pant. Respiration, blood pressure, brain waves, everything's normal. Okay, so this I think was the right call, but her just shouting out, "Yeah, he'll be fine, don't worry," is like what the fuck. But still, like the kid's like a danger. But really, he's a kid. Like the rest of them could have held him down. Like, nah, whatever. According to these readings, he's in a very deep sleep. <laughs> All right, I guess we're good for now. Yes. What about the anesthetic? How long will it last? He shouldn't wake up for a few hours. Man, he sure was strong for such a little guy. I think that might be the virus's fault. It makes you strong right before you die. It probably attacks the part of the brain that governs reason. Without anything to hold it back, his body was using every ounce of strength it had. Yeah? How do you know? Huh? Oh, well, um... How much do you know about this Radical Six? Oh, not much. I just invented it. I probably know about as much as you do. All I've seen about it is that newspaper article. <laughs> that the truth? Why would I lie about that? I've seen other viruses do the same thing. I was just making a guess. You know what, Luna? I'm really disappointed in you. Because right now, you're making it really hard to believe you. And that hurts me. So when Clark tried to kill himself, are you saying that was because of Radical Six too? Yes, at least I think so. So what kind of virus is Radical Six? <sighs> For fuck's sake! Uh, what are you doing? I turn and follow Temioji's gaze. Temioji's gaze. There stood Alice, her hand wrapped tightly around the scalpel. Apparently she'd been the one to take it from the quark. The longer I looked at her, however, the more I wondered if she'd taken it to protect him or for- so Oh, she did stab herself! She really did! What the hell? Oh, holy shit! Why? <laughs> Thanks, whoever that was! Oh, man! Time to put the scalpel to her chest. Not again! Okay, the longer I looked at her, however, the more I wondered if she'd taken to protect him or for some other more sinister reason. She didn't seem stable. In fact, she looked far more like Quark had a moment ago and was entirely comfortable than I was entirely comfortable with. Her eyes were flat and hollow. Her face was an emotionless mask. She was not well. Alice? Hey, are you feeling okay? We're all going to die. Huh? We're all dead already. Only terrorists would resort to biological warfare. But they will. Soon. Hey, what the hell are you talking about? You don't understand? All of humanity is going to die. The virus will spread. Adults, children, <gasps> everyone, everyone. There won't be anyone left. I, I'd rather die here. <laughs> Wait, Alice. Oh, please run back to the same room. We were all too stunned to even try to restrain her. We just stood there as she spun around and leapt through the door. Damn it. 
Seriously, she just went in the machine and got it taken out of her ass. Man, what, what's what's her problem? I shook myself and took off after her. For those few moments of hesitation, I put too much distance and too many doors between us. Literally. Shit. Which way did she go? Right? Left? I was still trying to decide when once everyone else poured out of the infirmary. You lost her. Yeah, I don't know which way she went. Well, let's split up and look. Quickly. She can't have gotten too far. Right. Look, if you find her, it's probably best not to shout or anything. Just do your best not to provoke her. Understood? Gotcha. Ten Mioji. I think you should stay here with Quark. The rest of us can look for Alice. Sound good? Yeah. I stay here. Got it. All right, let's move, people. Get going. But a bit of bomb, but on, but on, bomb, bomb, but a bit of bomb. If I's command, we scattered, filtering off into the different doors. As I ran, I thought, where should I look for Alice? Perhaps the lounge would be good, a good bet. No one here, huh? Damn, where did she go? Complaining wasn't going to help anything. But we still do it. I need to go look somewhere else. Okay, so is this letting the passage of time happen or something? Like, like why go through all this? Do, 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 do. If you scare her, she might freeze up. Plus two, plus two, yep. Plus two, I agree. Good joke. Funny didn't laugh. Oh, holy crap. Treatment center. Those jellyfish? You said there was nothing else in here. Shoot, nothing in the treatment center either. We need to find her quick or she's gonna do something bad if we hadn't stopped Quark. Yeah, we just saw this. Yeah. Okay, that, that's fine. Just an image. That's fine. I need to hurry, but first, let me look at these bitchin' jellyfish. I headed to the garden next. Okay, third time's the charm. She's dead in here for sure. I'd only gone a few steps from the walkway through the grass when I stopped short. Oh, she's fine. Alice. Oh, there you are. Good. I'm glad you showed up. Huh? I just got here a minute ago. She was like this when I found her. When you showed up, I was getting ready to carry her to the infirmary. Then she's uh, alive? Yeah. No, I didn't say that. Her breathing and pulse seem normal. But I didn't say she was alive. She doesn't appear to have any obvious external wounds. This was weird. So she's unconscious, just unconscious. Looks like it. What about the scalpel? Doesn't look like she has it. Figure she probably dropped it on the way here. Okay, that's weird. Anyway, hmm. we need to get her to the infirmary. Give me a hand here. Right. Alice was lighter than I expected, and Fi and I managed to set off toward the infirmary at a brisk trot. Okay, is she like super hot to the touch? Cause, you know. Okay, are we gonna scan her for the virus now? Okay. All right, please pay attention everyone. What the fuck? You need to hear this. The Atom has finished scanning Alice. Okay. She doesn't have it. What did it say? She's just crazy. Her results are identical to Quark's. <gasps> she 
She has also been infected with Radical Six. Okay, time to test everyone else. On her way back, Phi had gone off to retrieve the rest of the participants. Seven sets of eyes widened as Luna spoke. Okay, so we didn't need to see that, but we needed to see running through three different kind of rooms until we finally got to the garden. What What was that? Oh, no. No. Smile. What's going to happen to her? Smile. What is wrong with her? Well, like I said before, there's only one way to cure Radical Six. The robot body permanently stuck on smile mode? Like There's a special antiviral treatment. Do you know what immunoglobulin is? Immunoglobulin? Yeah, yeah. It's another name for antibodies. Some people have antibodies that can fight off Radical Six. Those antibodies are the basis for Excelivir. <laughs> Wait, what about those pods in the treatment center? I really wanted to freeze them. Can't we just stick them in though? <laughs> He's so fixated on this. Right. Right. I thought of that too. So I went and took a closer look at them. Whoa, when did you have time to do that? Fortunately, <laughs> They can't cure it. Correct. They can suppress the symptoms for a while, but they can't kill the virus itself. The only way we can help Alice and Quark is if we can find some Excelivir. Okay, but we can still put them in there though, because you just said it'll help for a bit, right? So they're still going in, right? Because that's what you just said. But the pods will keep them from getting any worse, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and Tamiyoji, man. Yeah, but it's a waste of time. Yes. Well, then what are we waiting for? One of you, grab Alice. We're going to the treatment center. As he spoke, Temioji moved over to Quark and lifted his small, unconscious body off the bed. Quark shifted sli slightly as Temioji moved him, and something fell out of his pocket with a soft clink. It's Excelivir! I bent down slowly and picked it up. <laughs> What is it? <laughs> Hold on. There's a name on the label here. Excel X Ex Excelivir. Excelivir. Found it, Sigma. That's the one thing that can cure Radical Six. <laughs> the one thing. <gasps> uh, why did Quark have it? Perhaps he found it earlier. Coggers. Earlier we when? the laboratory. It was on the other side of the red door. I happened to notice Quark putting something in his pocket. He hid it. Man, I feel like Japanese games, video games in general have this, but Japanese games way more than others, just have absolutely zero fucking regard for, for pacing and any story construction um, ideas when it comes to pacing as well. And sometimes that leads to these such so fucking awful, weird, drawn out sequences, but other times it leads to some really cool shit. So like overall, I feel like it breaks even and like you remember good things more than bad things generally, so it's fine. But like, it's, it's interesting that there's this whole um, sub section of storytelling that just took looks at one of the major like collection of rules in storytelling and just is like just burns it and stamps on it and then incinerates the ashes even more just to be sure and it's just like who gives a fuck you know like um it's it's weird but it's kind of cool at the same time just just like man they just don't give a single fucking shit <laughs> Whatever, let's just run around. Where's the oh, he has it right now. It's just okay. He hit it. Whether or not that was his intention is unclear. <laughs> okay, I did not have the opportunity to ask as he collapsed immediately afterwards. It didn't feel appropriate to go digging around in his pockets for it after that. And to be honest, it had also slipped my mind. Oh, that's possible. We were rather preoccupied with getting him to the infirmary as quickly as possible. Why didn't you open your memo and next to your drawing of Bikoi off snow, write down uh, Quark has Axel Vera? Like, what, what the hell, man? Like, come on. Who cares about the details? We have it. Hurry up and give it to him, Luna. Um, hey, hold on a minute. How is it going to react with the anesthetics, the soparol? Smile. What about Alice? We'll give it to her too. Does it really matter if she goes first or not? Um, 
I'm sorry, but I don't think we can do that. What? There's only enough here for one person. How do you know that? Is there dosage on the back? The only way we have to administer this is with the injection gun. Okay. And the way it functions, it uses a whole bottle each time you pull the trigger. What? In other words, we can't split the dose in two or something. Oh. So, okay, hold on. The o the only way that could work is and makes sense is if the bottle itself was the dose. So maybe that's how it works. That that is possible, and the, but that means the bottle was made with that gun in mind. I guess if it can load into that, I don't I don't fucking know what's going on here. Right. While well, we all stood stunned, Phi moved, stepping over to Quark. She quickly ran her hands through his clothes, then stepped back with a frown and a small shake of her head. Nope, he doesn't have another bottle. Nothing. That one bottle was it. <laughs> Actually checked. All right. <laughs> Do you think there might be some more back in the laboratory? No. Unfortunately, not. No. Oh God. Smile. Just enough medicine for one dose. Okay. Well, we're choosing Quark for sure, right? Only one person can be saved. Who should we give it to? Okay. Well, first we should scan everyone to see if everyone else has it, right? Alice or Quark. <laughs> what the hell is this? There's no way we're only going to save one of them. Damn, this is two really bad options. What are we going to do? Do I have to spell it out? We're going to save them both. How? That's, um... I need to calm down. I think. There had to be some way to save both of them. It was there. I knew it. Don't we have to go through a door soon? D what?! Ooh. Actually, I'm Santa. What the fuck is this shit? What, do I have to go find the chemical compound to know how to synthesize some more? What do you mean? What? There isn't enough antiviral medication. Lock number four. Why, why can't I skip? Why can't I skip? Is this new every time? I want to, sk I can skip now. Okay. All right, flow. Okay, so I don't even get to see these two. God damn it. God damn it. All right, what the fuck? Okay, so I want to go over to here and I want to do this one real quick while it's kind of fresh still from yesterday, right? We'll do this one real quick. It's only two squares and then we'll jump up here and we'll do this one and we'll see wherever it takes us. Um, and then I guess we're going to be able to unlock some stuff. That seems like, this seems like one that we have to figure out ourselves. It's not a lock. So is it something to do with, um, with, uh, with this? Is it two fee for, for the login and this for the, the password or? Hmm. Is there something on a bunch of the different lines? Where is, what, what is the ninth room for the ninth lion? Do you wish to jump? Okay, so we're voting betray, right? Who are you betraying? 30 seconds. Make a dialogue bubble, please. Yeah, sure. Those being recorded, please wait. Someone just said something in chat, Results I want to do it. From round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed.
There we go. Please. Oh yeah, it was betrayed. We betrayed. Um, we betrayed Luna. Oh no, waifu, no. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. It's not real though, because this is just you know seeing what happens. All right. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. Sigma. It was Alice. Why? It was Alice. You, you promised. It was Alice. How could you? Why won't you say something? At least give me an excuse. Say, say you wanted to protect everybody, or you slipped and hit the wrong button. Anything. You know what, Luna? I don't owe you a damn thing. I'm disappointed in you that you didn't pick Betray either. What are you stupid or something? Wow, your shit's whack. I don't care if it's a lie. And you're whack as shit. Just, just say something. I, I can't trust you anymore. Can I? I see. Oh. All right then. Oh. You did it so that you could get more points, right? No, I just don't like you. Oh. I want to say no, but I couldn't. She was right. I shut my eyes and turned away. I trusted you. Goodbye. Luna's face twisted as she spun away, but not before I saw tears glistening in the corners of her eyes. My heart sank into my stomach like a lump of lead. Oh, it's back! I'd lost something very precious. Like they say, trust takes years to build, but only a second to break. If only I could have taken that second back, but that was impossible. Life only moves in one direction, and you only get to make your choices once. The past is the past, and it stays there. Hey! Where do you think you're going? Isn't it obvious? Isn't that obvious? I'm going to look for Quark. Hey, wait! Clover yelled after him, but Temmioji ignored her and continued toward the magenta door. She glared at his, at his receding back. What? And muttered something under her breath. Something must have happened between them. Temmioji, you're going to go look for Quark, right? Yeah, so? I want to help. No thanks. Really? Uh, much as I'd like to say that, I need all the help I can get. Nah, I didn't say I think that. You can give me a hand. Of course. Good. I still don't want you to come, though. I was just asking if you think you could. Let's go. Whoa, I didn't say that. They headed off through the magenta door together. Clover was left standing by herself, brows furrowed, and head down, deep in thought. Then suddenly she stood up straight and took off through the cyan door. Oh wait, I couldn't have blamed Alice. Alice is dead, right? Alice is already dead in this in this part, right? Shit. I turned and saw that only Phi and K were left. Could have still blamed Alice though. Where's Dio? He went off toward the yellow door while you and Luna were talking. He just walked out. Yes. Yes. He did check the results before he left. I bet he wasn't very happy. All right, we probably die at the end of this then, right? Does Luna kill us? If I had chosen Betray, he'd be sitting pretty with nine, uh, with nine, nine BP right now. I imagine he would. Fortunately, Fi is much too clever for that. That was why I chose Ally. It was an easy decision. But if you betrayed her, then you'd have been able to get out of here. Can I skip this? But I made a promise no. to Fi. A promise, huh? Were you really sure Kay wouldn't betray you? Of course not. I'm not an idiot. I didn't really have a choice, though. The only option was to trust him. That's so. Yeah. Don't you think that's important? Trusting someone, I mean. I agree. All right. We should go and look for Quark, too. Indeed. Best we split up, wouldn't you say? We did say, and each... We, we did say, and each of us left in a different area of the facility. Okay, that's weird we're saying that. I took the magenta door, Phi went to the yellow door, and Kay took the scion door. Cayenne door. Do, 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 do. 
do 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 Okay, so we're here right now. Betray. Okay. But no matter how hard I look, Quark was nowhere to be found. And then we got stabbed in the back. Eventually I decided to head back to the warehouse. Oh no, everyone's dead. Whoa, you actually found him? Holy shit, Tamiyoji. What's going on? You found Quark? Be here if I hadn't. Where was he? Like I'm gonna tell you that. What do you mean? Why does it matter? What? Did I do something wrong? You broke your promise to Luna. Oh, okay. I don't okay. like people who break promises. All right, whatever, dude. There was no rebuttal for that. Well, I'm glad you found him. How? Everyone was nice to Alice after she did that to me. I guess no one gives a shit about Sigma. Oh, you got some balls saying that. Acting like you give a shit about him. Uh-huh. Is he okay? He looks tired. He's just sleeping. Seems somebody shot him up with some kind of anesthetic. Someone who? Hell if I know. Oh, this is kind of cool that it's bleeding from the other ending over to this one. And honestly, I don't really care anymore. Why not? Work safe. Now all I have to do is get him out of here, and this will all be over. Wait, you make it sound like you can get out right he now. Can. Well, he can. How? Didn't you see the results? Quark's PP is nine. Exactly. So you're gonna have him pull the lever and open the number nine yeah, door? Of course, he's gonna need my help to do that. But what about you? You've only got four BP. Even if you can get the door open, you'll. Three. Now, maybe some of you are thinking. You're thinking, oh ho! If my <laughs> BP is too low, then I'll just have someone with enough BP open the door, and I'll just slip through when it's open. But that's not gonna happen. If you think you can be sneaky, well... Okay. I don't know that. So the bunny didn't explicitly say what would happen, though. Okay. Doesn't matter, though. So long as Quark is safe, then I... My guard was down. I barely even saw him move. It wasn't until pain exploded in my stomach that I realized Tamiyoji had kicked me. While holding Quark? Huh, <laughs> gurg. What? T Ten Ryuji? Like, how did he just do that? I let out a strange sort of wheeze and collapsed to the floor. Chat, our protagonist collapsed. Blinking against the pain, I managed to find Ten Miyoji again. He maneuvered Quark up to the number nine door. Hooks, stop, Ten Miyoji, no. Moving made me wretch, and before I could recover and call out again, he'd done it. Ten Miyoji's hand pressed Quark's against the lever. He looked back at me over his shoulder. Wrong lever! Okay, can Sorry. we see what's out there? The door's almost open, so it's time I was on my way. Tamiyoji, don't, don't be an idiot. If you go through there, you'll... Leave me. I know. But I gotta stay with him as long as I can. Couldn't live with myself if I just tossed him out there unconscious, you know? Then stay here. Can't do that. Why not? There's a killer here. It's too dangerous. I can't take that risk with Quark's life. No, it was just um, it was just Alice killed herself, and then Luna probably also killed herself. There is no killer in here. Oh my God, there really isn't a killer, is there? Temioji, wait, don't do this. Temioji, Temioji! Oh, you can actually see it close, that's cool. The number nine door has closed. This ends the nonary game. Thank you for your participation. Kaboom. As the game is over, 
all doors other than the number nine door have been unlocked. Wait, what? Escape is not possible. And then the watches come off, and then you just can live here for until you die? Please enjoy your stay. Okay, that actually might not be that bad, considering what's out there. That was how it ended. Had Temioji died? Had Quark escaped? I didn't know. I laid my hand gently against my aching stomach and stared up at the ceiling. Faint approaching footsteps echoed through the warehouse. One of them was a killer. Nah, whatever. It didn't matter anymore. I was never going to see the outside world again. Perhaps it would be better if I just let them kill me. I lay back and closed my eyes. Okay, so, um, that kind of makes sense. Like, not a very satisfying, uh, conclusion, but obviously you're supposed to get more than one. That wasn't supposed to happen, achievement unlocked. Okay, not bad. What do you mean we still don't have an ending here? What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's enough there, right? Okay. Hmm. Hmm. All right, so can we jump over now? So we're going to jump over to here. Okay, into the CDs. Okay, so we went with Luna. We went with, oh, it's it's lit up. Okay, so we want to go with Temioji. Oh, now we're going with Temioji after that happened. Damn, th this is really coming along well. I'm thinking we'll go through the yellow door with Temioji. That sound good to sure. you guys? Fine. Sure, fine. That means Dio and I will go with Alice. And we'll be going through the magenta door. All right, then. Better than getting stuck with that crusty old fart, I guess. So... Clover, Luna, and I will be going through the cyan door. Who are you? How do we still- We had it in the lock! Unlocked, open, and oh no, the suit doesn't have power- Who are you? I don't get to go with Alice? I'm sorry. I'll try and stay out of the way. I don't really mind you, but the K guy seems really suspicious. Really? You guys- Smile. You guys don't like each other? Huh. We're all meeting one another for the first time. Aren't we equally suspicious? Hey, I'm nothing like you. Hmm. Probably your brother, by the way. Ten seconds remain until chromatic doors close. Nine, eight, seven. We need to go. The doors are closing. But a bit of bomb, but on but come on, guys, move. But a bit of bomb, but on but on bomb, but a bit of bomb, but on but on bomb, but a bit of bomb, but on but on bomb, bomb. Chromatic doors closing. Oh, it's our turn to be in the infirmary. Interesting. Interesting. So this is the infirmary. Yeah, we're finally here. Seriously, the way that's all coming together with this is, is a pretty good route again. Um, real quick before we go over, uh, any um, any good announcements from the show that's going on or no? No, nothing. None. Minecraft 2. Yeah, okay, that's not nothing nothing good then. Okay. Alright. Looks like it. That's what it said on the door after all. What the hell? Why is there an infirmary right next to a warehouse? Well, it's probably here if any of the workers get sick or hurt. What workers? Uh, did you see the size of that place? A little big to just be somebody's garage. Then you're saying people work here? Maybe not now, but... Judging from the lack of dust, someone was here until recently. Hmm. There's a door in the back. Think it'll open? No way. How can you be so sure? Just look at it. 
You see that thing next to the door? What's it say? Lock. Maybe that's the name of the door. God, no dice. It's not moving. Are you blind? Wait, it do says you lock right there? Do you open it by sliding it up? I thought it just opened automatically when you got close. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just thought you know maybe I could force it open. Right. Right. Let's have a look around, okay? Seriously, what is this? Yeah, good idea. Maybe there's one of those card keys around here somewhere. <laughs> then let's get started. But a bit of bum, but dum, but dum, bum, bum, but a bit of bum, but dum, but dum, bum, bum. Damn, look at all these reflective surfaces. Wow. So many. All right, what's this? Look at these blocks. The cover's going to keep us from grabbing them, though. The three empty spots. Five times five times five minus three is 22 blocks. I can see four different icons. There's the blue capsule, the yellow powder, and the red liquid, and the green tablet. Hey, check this out. There's a couple keyholes on the bottom corners. I'm not sure what this thing is, but I guess we'll need to unlock these keyholes before we get much out of it. Alright. There are three buttons in this drawer. Well, there's no handles, so I'm guessing those buttons are how we get it open. Thing over each one of them looks like some kind of counter. So that means use the enter pin and press the check button. Alright, I'll give it a shot. Uh... There was like four or five of those, and there was like, I don't know, six of those, and there was like nine of those. No. Oh, well, damn, I don't get it. Their little icons look like the types of medicine on the buttons, right? Blue capsule, yellow powder, and red liquid. Have you seen those anywhere before? Hmm. Oh, there were two of those. Two, three, four, but like they could be the other ones, right? So it'd be tedious to guess we're still gonna but okay so one two three four five one two three one two five yellow two red three blue five yellow two red three blue okay and there's like let's let's go up one each no Let's go back down to the beginning. Three, five, two. So let's go up to three, four, and one extra yellow. Nope. So two extra red and one extra blue. Nope. This one was still set. Why did I do that? All right, two and three. Hmm. Two extra blue and one extra red. No. Oh, well, I guess we're gonna have to do it legit. Each one is different part. Okay. Scalpel, that's a dangerous thing you got there. You know, the whole point of that is to cut through flesh. Just be careful with it. Scalpel, the blade is very sharp. Oh my god, this is a laser gun, isn't it? No, it's an injection gun. Pretty much gives you what it says on the tin. It's a gun shaped thing that gives injections. Should we take it with us? Nah, it'll just ignite the fires of war. What? Besides, all it's got is some saline solution. You can inject someone with it if you want, but it won't do anything. Alright, how do you know that? We should still. T what if it's part of the puzzle? You, d you don't know this shit. It's a worn out key. Probably locked if it's somewhere. All right, so we can use the key over here. Okay. Oh, what if some of them are green? Oh, what if, uh, hmm, hmm. What if I only add two to the, to the pile? Like two reds. Interesting, all right. Brute forcing is back on the menu. All right, let's do three reds, three blue, and five yellow. Three reds, three blue, and five yellow. No, all right, let's add another, another, another blue. No. Hmm, let's add another red. 
No. Two and three. Let's add another yellow and another red. No. Let's add two yellows. That would be the least expected one. No. Hmm. Two blues. A yellow and a blue. No. Okay. All right. Next time for sure. What's this? A coin? Never seen a coin with a bump like that one before. Thing me is part of something else. That bump might plug into something or hook into a notch. Uh, looks like it's gonna be a key of some sort. Perfectly normal. What's in here? It's a notebook. Maybe there's something important in there. No, I flipped through it. All the pages are blank. Okay. And we trust you? Slot inside of the screen. You think maybe something goes in there? I saw someone with this in the AB room. It wasn't quite the same size though. Seeing so this is a card reader. Yeah, that'd be my guess. Okay, so we need to find a card. That's probably what those button things give over there. All right, I want to go down to the drawers down here. No, there's nothing here. Okay. Looks like some kind of handheld scanner. It doesn't appear to be on. Might be part of this thing it's sitting on. Do you think if we turn this on, yeah, I might be able to use it. Okay, it's because it isn't turned on. Power button, try pushing it. Why do I have to push it? Well, it might be a trap or something. That makes me want to push it even less. Fine, I'll push it then. No, I'll do it. Gah, fine. I just need to push it, right? Please do, please do, please do. The screen is white. Handheld scanner, okay. Now we've got the power on, where are we supposed to scan? How about that square hole in the sheet? The part that's been cut out? Why not? I didn't even know there was a, a square hole in the sheet. Hidden letters, all right. What? Q Gimp. All right, that's the password. What do you mean, no? How is that on it? I, I don't even know what's going on right now. Okay, G C T U K. Q, Q Dilf. Okay, so do I have to write it down and get all the letters? Let me actually look at the sheet first, because maybe it just says it. Something seems weird. See, when I scan the part of the bed, the letter shows up here. There's probably a bunch of metal plates or something in the mattress. You think the scanner's just reading the letters carved into them? Maybe. My point is you're not going to anywhere if you need, you need clues. Okay, so that's that. All right, so, huh, it looks like someone cut a square in the sheet. We think it means. All right, so let's, uh... Let's try. All right, so... All right, so this is a Q. Let's draw the lines. Okay, so this is a Q. Let's do a different color. Q. Okay. D L I F D L I F All right G C T U K G C T U K this is cool, I like this. Y M A P Y Map W. That might be it actually. Y Map W. Oh, s Osh Hex G 
J-R-N-V-B. 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 Okay, so is there a word here somewhere? Q-Dilf. No. Okay, so is there some... There's a word I can spell out with this for sure. Okay, so what would that word be? What would a five letter word be that's in this room? Sharp. Sharp, because that's what was the instrument cut. Sharp. So sharp. Sharp. No, it's not sharp. Um, shark. Shark. Shit. Shack. Shark. No. Okay, right. let's try it one more and then we'll move on and see if we can get the code from somewhere or if there's a code somewhere out around somewhere. Brain for brain memory. Let's try spelling our name. Sigma. Because that'll be sus as hell if that's right. So Sig. Ma. No. Alright, let's go ahead and see if we can find anything. I'm guessing it's going to get me anywhere. I need any clues. Alright. That was kind of cool in making it making the, the grid though what the hell is this it says aed it's an aed just like it says okay what's an aed it stands for adult erotic doctor i'm kidding are you though it stands for automated external defibrillator you use it to try and restart somebody's heart if they go into cardiac arrest it uses electricity hmm do you think we could take it out probably what's good it's gonna do you if your heart stops sure it might be useful but right now i don't think so okay so there was a defibrillator in here and k still did compressions instead of Getting Luna back here? What the hell, Kay? You can use a restart stopped heart, but you don't have any of those right now. That's like sus as fuck. Like he he was in here first too, right? He knew this was here. A mirror can't see anything in it it's too dirty we'll clean it then oh my god there's dihydrogen monoxide coming out of that faucet oh my god there's a redditor talking to me can't you just call it water like a normal person this thing looks pretty old old sink with twisted knob water comes out of the faucet a bed looks like it looks betty all right rip it open there's probably something in here Man, I feel so sleepy all of a sudden. No time to be slacking off. I want to look at the other bed. I want to look at the other bed. Thank you. All right. Piece of fabric sewn in here. That's the same as the bed sheet. So someone attached a sheet, a sheet to the sheet. I guess so. Why would someone do that? I don't know. Ask the mouse. He's a rabbit. Take it. It's a sheet sewn in the sheet. If I had something sharp, I could probably cut it out. All right. Here's a, here's a knife. Go to the other one. Why is this room so awkward? What's this? Oh, we have a scalpel! I forgot we had a scalpel. We had a little notch here. It feels like it's made of metal, too. Maybe it's part of something else. Find the other pieces. Okay. I straight up forgot we had a scalpel. Piece of fabric has been sewn into the street. Oh, it's a scalpel. Darn, I need scissors. I think the scalpel might do the trick here. Do, 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 do. 
What the hell? This thing is filthy. Looks like there's something been written on it, but we can't read it like this. Isn't that normal? Let's go clean it in the water! And then use it to clean the mirror so we can see what we look like. Are you planning to wash that sheet with the water? Yeah, I don't know. That looks like a pretty stubborn stain. I don't think the water's gonna cut it. Well, we don't know unless you try it. Yeah, I agree. Alright, here we go. Yeah, it worked. Fuck you, Fi. Damn. I guess it's not gonna be that easy after all. Told you so. Okay, now let's use it on the mirror. Okay. Cool. Well, that went in easy enough. Whoa, what the hell just happened? The whole thing just moved out from a wall a couple inches. Can you pull it out? What do you mean pull it out? It went easy, now you want me to pull it out? It looks like I can't pull these case, this case out. Let's have a look at it then. Sure, move the red, green, and blue boxes and squares that correspond to the colors. You can move three blocks up and down as well as sideways by clicking and dragging the mouse. Okay, I... Oh, no! Why? No! What do you mean? Okay. Shit. Can I restart? I really wish there was a restart. Okay, hold on. Go to the right. Do I go? I go right first. Go to the right, then down. <laughs> okay, go go up, then right, then down, then left. Then down. We restarted. Yay! We did it. All right. We did it. All right. We did it. All right. We restarted. Okay. Can we go, like... If I go right, that's gonna go there, and I can't go left again. It's, it's gonna... Going right and then going left again is just gonna put us right back in the same spot. So up like this, and then... Do I wanna go up or down? If I go up, I'm gonna have to move down again. I can go up, and then I can go right, and then I can go down, and then I can go right, and then I'm fucked. Um, and then I can go down, and then left, and then, and then up again and then right, and then down, and then right, and then up, and then left, and then up, and then down, and then right, and I'm just saying, I'm just saying directions at this point. I feel like I want to, I want to restart, because it can probably be done in about five, five different move in five moves, and I've lost it. It seems like there's only certain directions that we can, that we can put them in, and we need to load it in, and then move it over, that's what we have to do. Okay, so we're back at this again. So we go that like here. All right. So how do I get this down here without 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 losing it? So if I go if I go down, these move down. I fucked it. That's what I did last time. So if I go left, I go left here, and then I have to go down, and then red and green is gonna go down. Right. So now what do I do? If I go down and I go right, and there you go. I did it. All right. Cool. Completed. Okay. That was a piece of cake. I guess that was a pa passable performance. Good work. Why do I get the feeling your heart wasn't in that? Hey, did you guys see this? Moving those blocks seems to have filled the empty squares on the, on the front. Okay, so it's two. It's still too red. It's two. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. So five, five blue and and six. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did that with two reds. Come on. Oh yeah. All right. Two red. Five blue. Six yellow. 
So five, six, two, five, six, two, five, six, two. I did that. I knew I did that. Aw, oh, yeah, detergent. Open sesame. Well done, Sigma. There's something in here. You have found a note with colored numbers on it. You can view it by visiting the archive. All right, Lamayo got him. Okay, colorful note. Three, one, two. Okay. Three, was it blue? Shit, three, one, two? No. Okay, three, one, two. What are you doing? You saw that one already. Yeah, I know, but... Three yellow, one blue, two red? Oh, there's shit down here. Okay. What about on the other side? What is this? Some sort of clipboard? There's a memory card on here. It's a memory card. When it's on it, see anything on here, might be able to read it. Okay. Scrap piece of paper. What's this drawing supposed to be? Okay. What's the drawing? A and B makes detergent. Or B and A. All right, one. All right, cool. All right. What is this? That looks like the colors that we just put on. I thought for sure that was going to be something. Hmm, okay, what's this? Clipboard, nothing to clip. It must be a board. All right. This thing is full of medicine. None of them have labels, though. I have no idea what's in them. Maybe we should just pick some and take them? No, it's dangerous to mess with medicine. You don't understand. So we'd be committing a medicine. Ha, 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 ha. Sadly, Sigma's joke was critic was critically trepanned. Not very generous with other people's, are you? I don't know if they are, though. Don't get it? Not going to pretend to get it? There are bottles of medicine here. Don't know their names. Okay, jar containing white powder. Okay, I don't know what it is, though. A medicine jar. It's full of white powder. All right. Cool. Why, do I, why can't I pick up that one, but not the other ones? It says... Tubicurine on the label. Tubicurine, isn't that? Yeah, the muscle relaxant in our bracelets. Okay, does this have like a label on it after all? Or I don't understand why we picked this one up and not the others. It's kind of weird. Okay, maybe there's something here I'm missing, but let's go and plug this memory card into this thing. Soft memory cards, put memory card in here, try it out. Come on, you don't have to tell me what to do. I, do I know what's up. A equals white powder in medicine bottle. B equals water. Lamayo just poured in the water. It's 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 just literally detergent. Okay, cool. Lamayo, all right, here we go. No, you have to have water in a bottle, Jumpy. I'm sorry. Really? What? Put put some water in. Is A and A and B in a bowl? Like okay, so what? I have to fucking put it has to be in a bowl? I have to put get a jar, put it in here, and that oh my fucking god. Just use the I oh, would just why are we dirtying a bowl for no reason? Okay, pour it in and then uh, empty jar and then pour it fucking water in it. Yeah, here we go. Alright. Jesus Christ. Let's not use the warm water water to melt the ice. Let's make a bomb. All right, here we go. Gonna get some water with the empty jar, huh? Yeah, pretty clever, right? No, I don't know if I call that clever. I think a three-year-old can come up with that part of the plan. Just, just do it. Fine. Jar containing water. All right, now I just need to pour the water in. The bowl was very important. I got bubbles. All right, let's clean it. 
All right. Oh, uh, okay, I see. All right. And now let's go use it to clean the mirror. Okay, so, um, yellow is, shit, so yellow is three, and that was the, big, oh, fuck, I can't remember, so the jar, jar is two, pill is one, and triangle is, is, is three. Did I just misread that? It's nice and clean, completely different. Okay, so. One, two, three in some order. What was this one again? I'm getting tired now. Red is two, blue is one. Red is two, blue is one. Blue is one, all right. Whoops. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, so up here is one, two, three, four, five. All right, can I put it over it or do I have to just remember? Yeah, this is the right size, good shot then. All right, all right, there we go. Okay, cool, all right. Okay, one, two. Excuse me, three. Oh, okay. Cured. All right. Awesome. Looks like that did it. Hmm. Good work. The screen changed. Huh? Wait a minute. You've seen it too? Yeah. There's something like this in the AB room. Symbols are all different though. I take it you two saw one? Yeah. We use a password like this to open the safe in our AB room. You ought to write that down. No, it's cool. I can remember it. You're going to memorize it? Sure. No sweat. I've got a pretty good memory. Okay, so sun, moon, sun, sun, star, star. Okay, sun, star, star. Okay, so um, can we get the other one first or no? Sorry, can we go get this one and then go back? I'm gonna guess. What's the secret one? It has to be a different code on the bed. Awesome, it opens. Ha, well done. Good work. Whole bunch of stuff in here. First we got a map. It says floor A. Yeah, we can take a closer look later. There's some more stuff in here. Why don't we get the rest of it first? Right. Next we got a card. Two card actually. These must open the AB room. See, they got Ambidex room right here. You're probably right. Then we can open the AB rooms. Yeah. But how are we supposed to get back to the warehouse? That's where all the AB rooms are. We can go all the way to the game. The door's locked. Things against are safe. See, read this note. Here, a few more rules for you. Once you open the door. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same as last time. Interesting. So once we get out of here, we'll be able to get back to the warehouse. Yeah. And there's another piece of paper in here, too. It looks like a newspaper. A newspaper in here. Okay. Radical 6 infection spreads. Cure continues to elude authorities. The Radical 6 virus continues to spread across the globe like wildfire. The WHO has confirmed that the death toll is estimated to have passed 100,000 victims. Immediate quarantine of any infected patients is strongly advised. What the hell? What is radi what's Radical 6? Wait. Quarantine? Under the table? No way. Look, we can talk about this later. Right now we need to get out of here as fast as we can. No, I need to do the other part of the puzzle, but forget it. Just do what I tell you to do. The last thing in the safe is probably the key. What? So we finally get out of here. She's nodding. Found the key in the safe. She opened the exit. All right, let's go. No, I want to do the rest of the puzzle. Okay, is there a different way of us... No, there wouldn't be numbers. Okay, so it's probably going to be a different version of this, right? So, what's another word I can make out of cured? Druce. Reduk. Duruk. Your deck. Your deck.
Can I go back? Without leaving? Without doing it? What if I just do it backwards? Shit. I don't want to complete it! I want to do it! No! Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. Yeah, yeah. Pass one screen. Lots of last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's, what's, what's it backwards? Just in case it's, it's, it's somehow it backwards. Um, it was this one, then that one, right? No. Okay, so... The first set is C-U-R. C-U-R. Okay, so can I rearrange that at the end with E-D? Because those are the numbers. Rooked? No. Crude? I'm not seeing a different word than that. Let's flipping those and those. Is Drus a word? I don't think Drus is a word. I'm not good at word puzzles. I'm pretty good at Wordle though. I don't know why, but um, I'm not really good at crosswords. Let's try crude. So that would be shit. Uh, R is here, so. No. All right, so I do have to get different numbers somewhere. Do these numbers don't count? Heels? Cured and heels? H E A. L S. Oh, yes. No. Is there a different one of these I can get somewhere? Hmm, I already saw this puzzle. All right, there's gotta be some clue somewhere. Is it just water? Last time they haven't been that complicated to do to do the, the bonus part. Although there is one bonus one we didn't do. We can also do this again. Why can we do this again? Is is there a different thing that opens somewhere? Let's go 999. Like why can we do this again? This is kind of weird that we can do this again. Yeah, more going on here. Okay, so this opens in some way. Okay, so what what is this then? Is it got something to do with colorful no colorful note three one two? I tried this already with these numbers. Did I just put it in wrong? So so blue is one, yellow is three, red is two. So it'd be one three two, right? One three two. No. All right. So what is it I have to do here? That is two and that is um, six and that is five. What are the green ones? Are these anywhere else? There's a different number. Not here. Can I change this? Take the card out? No. Okay, even if it if it is a different number, is it gonna give me a different sheet or is it just gonna give me 
different a different value for these because then they'd be in different no they wouldn't be in different places would they can this open defibrillator you can use it just so hard you don't have any of those right now it's weird that that's there i have nothing else to use was there something on the back of the um of the the piece of uh paper or cloth and i didn't see it no. Three marks and two numbers on it. I would say maybe I put a five on that one and a four on that one and then this one, but like, no, that they're not really that close. So it's, it's hard to tell. Huh? Pillow. It's strange that I can pick that back up again, though, huh? Let's wash it some more. Let's actually wash the, the mirror. Do C U R. Okay, those those letters are too high to be numbers that I can put in the thing. Are they corresponding grid numbers and then I add them together that's really big time overthinking like that that number there corresponds with two two so that would be a four and that would be a a two four that would be a six and that would be a um a five and a one six again so it'd be four six six I don't think so Or just trying it. I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah, I didn't think so. This is a three. Uh, I'm stuck, chat. I'm sorry. Did I miss something? I can go in somewhere. I'm not reading chat though, unfortunately. So this asking isn't really helping me. White powder, medicine bottle, water. See, I would think that maybe I just have to figure out a better a better word to add in here, but the fact that there's more to do on this color thing makes me think that I do this and then that, that opens and then there's a new sheet or a new code or something that I can get. Um, Three one two, three one two, three one two. Do I minus these away from the numbers I already have? No, that's dumb. Oh, this is just a, a blanked out version of that. Why is there a question question mark here? Did I did I miss a piece of something in here that will help me, or is that another colorful note maybe? Because if that's the case, then um, it does use those same letters again. So what is what is the word that I that I didn't find with it? K. 
Can I take the keys away? I just want to spend a second on that. Let's just interact with everything again. It's not that. It's not that. It's not this. Look to the notebook. We can't go down here. The chair! The chair's probably for the doctor. It's just about, I guess. This? There's something on the screen. Yeah, it looks like some words. This is a hint. Oh, okay. So that's the, okay. That's the hint that we missed. Okay. So it's not that then. White powder in the medicine bottle. B equals water. All right. A and B. Okay. A, E, D somehow. Uh, what if I did it, like, backwards? What would that get me? So, that would be here, right? I would go here, then here, then here, then here, then here. That's it for sure, right? That's it for sure. That's it. I solved it. What do you mean no? How could it how could it not be that? How could it not be that? There's no way. What if it was flipped the other way? So that would be here. And that would be here. And that would be here. That would be here. And uh that would be here. Sidur. Yep, that's it for sure. Okay, um I don't know what to do. Sorry. Cures. This is the only new information I got when I went over. Is it that these, I add one to it because these are new ones that I found now. So there's a, a new amount of them. So I just go over and add one literally to the, to, the, to the amount. What's that? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven yellow, three red, six blue. Seven yellow, six red, three shit. Three red, there you go. No, that's it. That, that was the right amount, right? No. Uh... Just zero, zero, zero. Did I try that already? No. One, two, three. Okay, this was closest to the five. I'm just really running up empty here. This was closest to the four. And just like, fuck it. Let's just go through it and see. Two. Okay, what if this was actually closest to the four and it's the other one that we have to brute force? Burr, burr, burr. Burr, burr, burr. No, okay, so how do I get a new number of what I what I have? Can I open this again to see what was in it? No, it was a drawer, wasn't it? So this opens somehow with a new number. 
Okay, this this grid is the same as as this grid. So can I put that on the other one and see somehow or or no? Is that the same kind of shit? So if I put that over here, then that's a five and that's a four no it'd be these ones right well these aren't numbers there's no numbers here so that's a five and that's a four so yellow triangle red four and then the blue i just guess that can't be it five yellow four red five yellow four red I don't think they make me guess like this, so I don't think so, but let's just run through it. No, that's not it. That the fact that I can take this back though seems like it's it's somehow related. Numbers look fine like that. I already added one to them, so scrap fabric clean the bleach. Can I use it on it? No. That matches with that, and that matches with that. That one doesn't match. So do I do I take a blue one away from and make it a red? I'm just I'm just guessing at this point. Like I don't even know what the fuck to do. Like because that's the only one that's different. Oh fuck. I guess just try that just to rule it out. So that would be the same amount of yellows. One, two, three, four, six yellows, four blue, and three red. No, yeah, four blue and three red. Four blue, three red. That can't be it. Six, four, three. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, I don't fucking know. Like, I would pro if it wasn't for the, the thing telling me I could do the code again, I would be looking at this to see if there's something I can correspond with entering letters into the machine from this. It's got to be something to do with this, though, because it, it's letting me take it back. Why would you let me take it back? One, two, three, four. It is the same, yeah. Four, five. We did that already. We tried that. Very close to giving up. Did we try five yellow, four red, and the same amount of blue? So five blue, is that the first thing we tried? Five, five, four? Probably we tried that already. Let's try it again, just in case I'm forgetting. So five, five, four. No. Do 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 do
Sorry, I'm laying back in my chair with my eyes closed. I'm a little farther away from the microphone right now. I'm thinking. No, I'm not getting anything. <sighs> Chat, if if I can guess the five letter word, will it let give it to me or do I have to go through the process? Cuz I feel like I got the numbers right earlier and it wouldn't let me go through. Can can I guess the the not the the word? I can, it will let me guess. Okay. So the question becomes, is it going to give me a different sheet or is it just going to give me a different, different thing? I, I'm guessing it's going to give me straight up a, a different sheet, which means it could be anything. So let's take the sheet away. And look at our memo and what what could we get that's kind of like cured it's gonna be something like that what's the opposite of cured like infect something like that that's too many though getting a needle but then that would be like one of the same twice I don't think it would do that let's try it though shots shot 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 shots no Radical too long. Radical six. Rad six. That's also too long. Rads six. There is no. There is no six. R A six. Contagion. Conta. Something. Bacteria. Is it a virus? Virus fits. Let's try virus. Virus. S. No, it's not virus. That would have been good if it was virus. Um. We tried heels. Is there something in one of the uh in, in one of the um the things about rad? Rad six. 
break, like cure, so we, so break. Where's R? Here. No. Docto? It's gonna be Docto, right? Docto for sure. Docto for sure. In infects with an X. In F. It's infects, but it's cool. Infects. God, I would have lost my shit if I did that. If it was that. Bones! Oh man, bones! It's bones. It's bones for sure. I got it. I just accessed the field. It's bones. Here we go. Bones. E, where's E? Where's S? It's bones for sure. Here we go. Bones. God damn it. Oh, fuck. Okay, so it's probably going to be like... Like, it won't be like contained to down here. It'll be like spread out over the, over the grid in some way. So... Drugs. Drugs. Drugs, drugs. I, I, you know what? Having drugs might like br break some sort of rating thing for them if you had the word drugs in it. But you know, whatever. Drugs. God, there's so many words. Drugs. No, it's not drugs. Um, what's some other medical things? Crutch won't fit. Gauze? Is this gauze fit? Is gauze with a Z or an S? I think gauze was with a Z. There is no Z, is there? Gauze. Is gauze with a Z or an S? Gauze. Gauze. Gauze is with a Z. Okay. Sheet, because it's a bed sheet. Sheet. No.
All right, I'm looking at chat for inspiration, but I don't want the answer. I see no help. Never mind. All right, I'm not looking at chat anymore. Lives, 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 taped, I don't know why, cure with a K because it's an edgy cure, oh snow without the E, alright, one last look at, 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 the, at the thing and we'll see, and I'm going to... You aren't going to get anything useful. So I'm just checking, all right? I'm just checking. I'm just checking. All right. I'm just checking. All right. There's something to do with here and with this. One last look at it. See if I can figure it out. What if it's just check? The blue is the only with one well, with five. Is it match all the blue? No. What would that be? G C U I V. Juicive. No. Oh man, I don't want to. I don't want to give up. I would like if I wasn't streaming, I would sit here for another like three hours until I finally figured it out. Because or just walk away and come back and see if I can get an epiphany for it or something. But like if I do it on the stream, I come back tomorrow and be like, oh, he just looked it up. But I could just do it off stream and figure it out. And if people think I looked it up, I don't give a fuck. Is it stupid? Is it dumb? It's stupid, yeah, it is. Not really, it seems a bit split. I really feel like there's something to do with, with this being, I can take it. Like, I don't think it's, it's I can flip it like this, that matters. It's, it's weird that I can take this and it matches the same grid. So there's got to be something to do with this. But, like, I don't... How do I get numbers from this? Like, I could see myself somehow finding a new word with this by corresponding some of the shit on here, maybe. Maybe. But getting new numbers with this is just fucking beyond me. I feel like I've already exhausted all that. It's like, okay, that matches there. So, like, I've, I've tried adding the amount here to this, these numbers. That didn't work. I tried matching it so it's like, okay, well, that corresponds with that, but the and that corresponds with that. But that one doesn't, so maybe it's like... 
minus a blue and add a, and add a red. That doesn't work. Okay, so I've tried like, okay, five matches here. So it's five yellow and then it's four is, is here. So that that's, that's a four. And then after that, it's like, I have to guess what blue would be. And that didn't do any, did he do it either? I did. Okay. That's close to the blue. So that's, so if blue is five. And then that is also, um, that's closest there, but it's, it could also be here too. But I did both of them. I brute forced it and that didn't work either. Like, I don't see anything to do with it. Like, okay, that kind of looks like a two, but that doesn't look like anything to me. And also where's the other one? We go like this and that's nothing either. I don't think like, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Think stupider. I th I think what I'm already thinking is pretty stupid. Why are there green ones? Are those just filler ones? I can't add them. Yellow, the yellow has six, right? So if I add that to five, it would make 11. So a digital that would be two, or it could just like cross over to one. And then if I add four to the, to the red, then that will give me six. And then the blue is just the same. So I don't, I don't think that's it. <gasps> My God, it's gone. It's gone. <gasps> it's back. One, two, three, four, five, and that is a five. And that's not, this is six actually. So that's, that's probably just a coincidence. Or that's where the fifth letter, the fifth um, letter went. Uh, streams done after this, by the way. So if you don't care about um, about me sitting here looking at this for a, a, another little while, then you can leave. I'm, I'm not going to continue after this. After after I get the um, after I get the uh, the golden file, if I do get it, or I give up, the, like that's the end of the stream. If I do get it. Hey, dog. How do I get numbers from this? Numbers I don't already have. I 
I've got a five and a four and a one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. I have those. I, I've already tried one, two, three in the thing. That didn't work. And I have no idea if these can be combined together. They're both around the same distance. So that doesn't seem like, and we already tried it anyway. We didn't try like, like the, the one in, and this makes a six and that makes whatever that is. Like, like, so one, two, three, so that would be a seven or that would be a six. But what would the other one be? And how do you know which one is close enough to the two of them? That's also stupid. I don't think that's gonna work. Although eventually I'm gonna have to try that. Is it like, if I hold it up here, it's it's one, one of these plus five of those is six yellow. That's still the same though. And then one of those and I go under is four red. So that's five red and then just one blue. So one blue, six yellow, five red, one blue, one blue, six yellow, five red, no. What was the other thing we're gonna try? It was um, six, six blue together and then seven yellow and then just one red or it could be anything. Whoops. There's no way it would make me do this. All right, and what was the other one? It was it was already uh, four, two red plus four would be six. And then the other one would be at least six. Let's just try it four anyway. No, that's not it either. Okay, so we've we've we got rid of those two now. Eliminated those two. So what we just tried was that there's a, a yellow here, right? Plus whatever is up here, whatever whatever is symbol behind it would be the yellow. So that's five yellow back there, plus this one on here would be six. And then whatever's numbers back here would be a four. So it's four red plus one on here would be five. And then whatever's back, and then that's just a one. That's what we just tried, that didn't work. Um, so then if we, the other one I tried was if you combine the five with the, the blue here, so that would be six blue. And then if you combine these two together, oh, that would be five then, wouldn't it? Shit, I didn't try that or five. No, we did try that. We did try that already. It was um, if, if you combine that number with uh, the ones that are already on here, I think it was something like that. I can't remember now what we're trying. Maybe I got confused. It doesn't line up perfectly, does it? Thank you for the gifts, those man of answers. Do you know the answer to the puzzle? Of course you did. Thank you. Thank you for the gifted subs. So chat said think stupid. So here's the ultimate stupid. The ultimate stupid I think looking at this would be, okay, so I've held up the thing to, to block it. What are the ones I can see? So I can see two yellow and another yellow up here and one blue. So I can see three yellow, one blue, and no red. 
So let's go try that. Three yellow, one blue, no red. Three yellow, one blue, no red. Nope, that didn't work. Three yellow, one blue, no red. Okay, so now what if I add the ones that are also here that are visible? I can see one, two, three, four yellow, four yellow, um, two blue, one red, four yellow, two blue, one red, four yellow, two blue, one red. Also not it. I did do that right, right? One, two, three, yellow, plus that, four, plus um, uh, one red and two blue. Yeah, that's it. Okay. But if we, what, no, we have to flip it upside down or the other way, and then we can see it. Okay, did we try just the amount that these correspond to? So that would be, do I double it? Like one, one yellow, two yellow, one, one blue, two blue, and one, one red. So that would be two yellow, two blue, one red. Two yellow, two blue, one. Sorry, was that it? Two yellow, two blue, one red. Two yellow, two blue, one red. Two yellow, two blue, one red. 